श्रीरूप सनातन भट्ट गुणा श्री जीव गोपाल भट्टदास स्वामी श्री जय प्रेम से कृष्ण कृष्ण चेतन प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री रिटाग्रह श्री गौर भक्त की जय श्रीमती so yeah i'm going to sing um hari hari kabe mara habe hena dina um so yeah you just have to find what page that is cuz i don't have the song book hari hari kabe mara habe hena dina kabe mara habe hena dina kabe mara habe hena dina hari hari kabe mora habe na tino e mala paisho ve rati upaji ve vasana hoi ve shino e mala paisho ve rati upaji ve Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you so much, Nalini. Beautiful. Thank you, Yashoda Prabhu. Adibo. Always beautiful having you on Sankatan, Nalini. You break up the, the, the male voices, you bring a whole new, a whole different scale. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you for organizing it, you know, and getting everyone together. Well, it's uh, Yashodari, and we have a beautiful team of people <clears throat> around the world helping. Sharma Sundari is now helping. She's serving. Um, we have uh, Manini Radha in California and Chandramukhi in Australia and Bhadra Das in uh, New Zealand and um, Manjulali in Germany. And um, who have I left out, Yashadari? Um, Janardan, Jamal, 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 Jamal. No, no, for this program. Oh, this program. I think you've got, you've got everyone covered. Yeah, that's pretty much everybody. I hate it when I leave someone out, so I want to check. Vancha kalpa trubis cha, kripa sindueva cha, pati chanam pavanabhyo, vaishnava bhyo, namanama, om again chanamandasya, gyanjana salakaya, chakshon militan yena, tashmai shi guru namaha, shinada pi sunichana, tarona pi sahishana, namani namanadena. Kitinisadahari <laughs> Anya blasta sunyam gyan kamriyana vritam anukalanya krishnu shilam bhakti utama jai shi krishna chaitanya prabhu nichananda shi advaita gadata shi vasadi gaur bhakti vrinda hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari hari Jai Gurudev, Jai Prabhupada, Jai Nichanandan, Jai all the beautiful assembled devotees. So my dear godfathers and godmothers, god uncles and aunties, god sisters and brothers, god nephews and nieces, god cousins and second cousins, who knows? Hari Bol, Dandavak Brahms to you all. It's so beautiful to see you on our 31st, 31st glorification of Srila Gurudev. Actually, we're very, very close to the halfway mark, which will be next week. And I wanted to say just a very short, uh, by way of introduction, uh, some, something came to me this morning, which I wanted to share, which was that grace, or what's often called, um, Shida, Shida Maharaj often used the word grace, but we often call it mercy. There is a subtle distinction, but grace is ever present. And grace is always wanting to seduce us, to, uh, to bring us into her, her bosom so that we can really be servants, so we can be flutes for Radha and Krishna, for Gurudev, for Prampara, for Nitai, for Goranga, and ultimately for Radha and Krishna. But because we are Tatashta Shakti, inevitably our mind rebels. However much absorption we have in Krishna consciousness, there's always a point at which our mind rebels. And um, as we develop or progress in bhakti yoga, um, maybe the, the trigger point for the mind rebelling becomes a higher and higher bar, but still there's a trigger point and the mind rebels. And so I want to say how important it is uh, and what great savor everyone is doing by turning up. Because by you turning up, we turn up. Like Nalini just thanked me and Yashadari for organizing this, Shamasundari for organizing this. But actually, we're organizing it, so called organizing. We're serving because for our own, for our, to compel us to turn up. 
And this is one of the very, the many important reasons why we need Sadhu Sangha. But one of them is to actually compel us to turn up because when we've made a commitment, I'm going to be here. I'm going to make sure, or we're going to make sure we have the speakers. We're going to be here, whatever. Come what may, we're going to be here. When you make that commitment, you have to turn up even if you do not feel like it. And sometimes we don't feel like turning up for Bhakti. We may not feel like turning up for Harikata. We may not feel like doing our sadhana. We may not feel like going on Sankirtan. But if we've made that commitment to someone else in Sadhu Sangha, we turn up even when we don't feel like it. And that allows us to be in the circle of grace whereby we can be reached by mercy. We can be touched by grace if we turn up, even when we don't feel like it. This is the beauty of Sadhu Sangha. We are helping and serving each other by turning up, even when we don't feel like it, because grace will come. Grace will certainly come, especially, especially I find in my experience, when I don't feel like doing something and I turn up, grace is extra merciful. So I wanted to share that because um, um, I think it's, um, it's a beautiful thing to know that grace is ever present. And we, it's not a question of earning grace because grace is causeless and unconditional. It's a question of um, reaching out and being available for grace to touch us. And when we are, grace, grace does touch us. And we just have to experience that. And um, we'll, that, that's a habit we, we, um, we develop over time. So today, as I said, it's our 31st program. So as I normally do for a few of you, the geeks out there, I do a little star date. And I'm just calculating where we are on the clock now. We are at um, 0.625 times 60. We are just half part. We're at 11.37 a.m. now. We're nearly midday because we're nearly halfway. And if you happen to be like me and you like to work in the day of Brahma, we are in the seventh Manu, the 55th Chatur Yuga. So we're near the end of the seventh, seventh Manu. And we're in the Treta Yuga. And we are... Um, uh, we are, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, we are 575,000 years into the Treta Yuga. So that's where we are in our epic journey of 64 uh, glorifications of Srila Gurudev. And today we have a veritable lineup, a feast of speakers. Um, somehow, actually, we've managed to assemble uh, beautiful devotees, rose petals of Gurudev from four different continents from North America from South America, from Europe, and from Asia. Uh, we're going to be first going to Holland, to Pran Gopal uh, Prabhu. And then we'll be going to Braj, to Vrindavan, to Sanjay Prabhu. And then we'll be flying back to Germany for Madhavrat Prabhu, who is always faithfully here, hearing every week. We can't wait for that. And then we uh, go over down to Bolivia and South America for Rangapuri Prabhu. And then we finish up in Florida with Prema Velati Didi. So it's quite a quite a lineup. And uh, before I start, and before Yashadari introduces our first speaker, Yashadari, is there anything you'd like to add or share with us, my dear? No, I just love your calculations of Rom. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's Anyone who wants to share in my spreadsheet how I calculate that, uh, it's, uh, there's no IP, no intellectual property owned. I'll freely share it for all of you sad people who would like to calculate time in the day of Brahma. <laughs> thank you, Yashoda Prabhu. I just want to say um, thank you to all the devotees that are helping us uh, do this seva. Um, actually, me and Yashoda Prabhu always discuss this, that we are just the um, people that are at the front, but there's so much that happens at the back <clears throat> and the seva that is being done at the back that a lot of devotees don't um, they think it's just me and you show the London bro, but it's not. There's a whole team that is working with us and they're as important, if not more important than me and you show the London bro, who are sitting at the front. Um, so I just want to say thank you to all of them that are speaking and you show the London bro, as always. Um, it's a delight to work with you as well. So uh, thank you. So I'm going to move swiftly way, on. Just, just as an add-on product, I can also uh, calculate time in terms of <laughs> Uh, blinks of Brahma's eyes. I've worked out how long it takes Brahma to Stop blink. It. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting carried away. Oh, thank you. So we're going to move. Now. 
<laughs> so we're going to move over to our wonderful um, holy land of Holland, uh, where actually just recently Shula Gurudev uh, came to the West in 1996. And so it's an auspicious month uh, because of Shula Gurudev coming. And we're starting off with the Dutch. And um, I would like to introduce our first speaker who actually was born in Krishna consciousness uh, from birth, but grew up in Iskon. Um, he remembers meeting the devotees when he was about 10 years old, but he's grown up with them. So it would have been normal for him in some sort until he realized that they're devotees. Um, then met Srila Gurudev for the first time in 2006. Uh, 2006 and in 2007, no, sorry, he met Srila Gurudev's devotees in 2006, and then in 2007 met Srila Gurudev, and the day after took Harinam from Srila Gurudev, so did not wait at all. Um, and then uh, two days after Baladev Bal Purnima uh, in 2008, uh, Brian took Diksha, and then uh, He's currently serving the devotees by hosting them. He, he's actually a wonderful Kirtanir. Um, I've had many conversations with him and he's actually so knowledgeable and so humble at the same time. It's very, very beautiful. And uh, he's a beautiful Kirtanir. He has done a lot of translation work uh, for Gurudev's uh, lectures. And when I'm presuming you were on Parikram, where you used to translate from English to Hindi to English or Dutch. I'm presuming I'm, I'm make, I could be making this up now, Fran said no, uh, but I'm just gonna go with what is written. Um, and he's translated Harikatha during class in Hindi to English and Dutch, and uh, translated Harikatha when Gurudev was speaking to, to uh, disciples from Hindi to English and Dutch. And he speaks Harikatha, he's a wonderful, um, he, he's like I said, he's very knowledgeable and he's very humble at the same time. And he he's very um, someone that is very easy to speak to. So uh, with great fortune and pleasure, I would like to introduce our first speaker to our program, Sriman Fran Gopal Prabhuji from Holland. Welcome, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, thank you uh, so much, uh, Yashod Hari, for the graceful inter introduction. Uh, you give me more credit than I actually deserve. Um, I have half an hour, as you said. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I want to start first, of, uh, uh, first with uh, doing my pranam to all the devotees who have gathered here. And um, I'm praying for all of your mercy that you can help me to s speak a little bit. Um, as I am very nervous and I'm always anxious, um, I don't know why, but when I see so many devotees, I, yeah, I, I, became, I become nervous, but at the same time, if and with your blessings, everything will be all right. So I'm begging for your mercy and for your blessings. O Magyana Timirandhasya, Gyananjana Shalakaya, Chakshurun Militam Jena Tasmai Shri Gurve Nama. Gurve Gaur Chandraya Radhika Yat Dali Krishna Krishna Bhaktai Tad Bhaktai Namonama Namayam Vishnu Padaya Radhika Priyatmane Shri Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Nitinamini Vanchakal Patru Vyascha Kripa Sindhu Vyavacha Patitanam Pavanibhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namonamaha Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prem Pradayate Krishna Krishna Chaitanya Namni Gaur Tisenama Hey Krishna Karuna Sindho Dina Bandho Jagat Pate Gopesh Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Takta Kanchana Gaurangi Shri Radhe Vrindavani Shuri Vrishvana Sutta Devi Pranamami Hare Priya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Srivas Adigaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare First of all, I offer my most humble and respectful Dhanvat Panam to our beloved Srila Gurudev Nitilila Pravishta Om Vishnupada Soda Satchismat Srila Bhaktivedan Narayan Goswami Maharaj. Secondly, I offer my most humble and respectful obeisances to our whole Rupanuga Guru Varga. And thirdly, I offer my most humble uh, respectful <coughs> obeisances and Dhanvat Panam to all the devotees who are gathered here 
Um, and all the folks who will listen to this uh, program, my Dhanavad Panam to all of you. Um, it was uh, during the, uh, it was due to the uh, merciful uh, Yashodhari <laughs> Devi Dasi that I'm present here. Uh, she asked me around two weeks ago to speak uh, about the glories of Srila Guru Dev. Um, at first I was hesitant. I postponed it by several months, but <laughs> there has to be a time that I also have to speak. So here I am. Uh, I've also uh, spoken two weeks ago in the uh, Zoom program of uh, Ajay Krishna Prabhu, Srila uh, Guru Deo Ke Madhur Smitya. So also my Pranam Prabhu to you, Ajay Prabhu. Um, and yes, I'm begging of you all the mercy and um, hopefully I can speak and make Guru Deo proud and speaking about his glories. Hare Krishna. Um, every, uh, uh, every child's story begins actually with the story of his of his parents, um, as Yashodhari uh, uh, David Dasi also has told me, has told I have been Krishna consciousness by birth. That is due to the mercy of my 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 father. Uh, he was um, uh, yeah from when I was born. He was already devotee doing Hari Ram and Ikadasi. So actually, my story is incomplete if I don't mention his. So I'll start by mentioning his. Uh, his story. Um, my father, uh, uh, Shriman Premvala Prabhu, he has, um, when he was 18 years old, so this is uh, during the 80s, uh, he was uh, thinking about uh, yeah, about um, his his background, his uh, religious background, because he's born in a in an Ari Samaj family, so not really a devotee family, but in a Hindu family. And he got uh, from his parents a uh, little bit knowledge about Vedas and about uh, Mahabharat, but not so not so much. So he was when he was around 18 years old, he was uh, yeah looking. Uh, he went to the libraries uh, here in Holland uh, to learn and to uh, read about about our Hindu dharm. And as many devotees around the whole world, he also happened to stumble upon the books of Shila. Uh, Swami Prabhupada. So my father, he uh, found this very nice, beautiful book, Krishna book. And he, when he saw the, 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 the front, uh, it was a very beautiful painting of, of Krishna himself. And he was very attracted to that. He was thinking, oh, such a nice picture. So then he opened it and he was reading it. And after three sentences, uh, reading the preface uh, of the of Shishimad A.C. Bhaktivedan Swami Prabhupada, he said, yes. This is it. This is what I was looking for. This is this is Krishna consciousness. And from that day on, he became vegetarian. Um, he uh, started to do uh, Harinam. And yeah, from there on, actually, <laughs> my story also a little bit starts because when he uh, after that, he went to ISKCON uh, here in Holland. And this was also during the 80s, begin 90s, 90s. And he met uh, with uh, Pujapat Brajanath Prabhu in Amsterdam, who was at the time was the uh, managing temple president of ISKCON Amsterdam. And he also met uh, there uh, Shiman Daumder Prabhu uh, from Holland also. And my father, uh, when he started to visit the ISKCON programs in Amsterdam, he gradually, gradually, uh, he developed more attraction to Krishna consciousness. And um, in 1998, he uh, once uh, went with his sister, uh, that's it's my aunt. Uh, she is also now Gurudev disciple, Vijay Lakshmi Devi Dasi. So my father, with his sister together, they went to the airport um, because my uh, my uncle, so my aunt's husband, he was going to India, and my father went with them to drop them. And also my cousin Damdar Prabhu, who is now a disciple of Pujapad Bhaktivedanta Van Maharaj, he was also present. So when my father. Um, uh, he dropped his his um, yeah his brother-in-law and he came back with his sister and his cousin uh, his nephew. He saw Gurudev uh, in in one of the lounges and he and he recognized Premlata uh, Devidas. He's also a senior disciple of uh, Gurudev here in Holland and he recognized her and he saw oh look there is Premlata. So he told his sister uh, and nephew to come and they went to Gurudev. And uh, yeah, because he recognized uh, Sadhu in, in Safaran dress and with Tilak. So he knew a little bit about uh, who is Sadhu, because he read the Krishna book. 
So he went there, this is 98, I think, I don't know when, May, June, Ramlan Prabhu, he was also there, maybe he can confirm when. Um, so he asked a question to Gurudev. Um, he was asking, um, uh, I don't know how he approached Gurudev, but he, the question was, uh, I want to become a son of Krishna and Dwarka. How can I become that? And then Krishna, oh, Krishna <laughs> Gurudev, he looked at him and he was smiling. He said, no, it is not, the goal to be the son of Krishna. So, because then Krishna has to serve you. The goal is that we serve Krishna. And then he started smiling and laughing and everybody laughed. And my, my father, he understood what Gurudev said. But uh, from that meeting on, uh, we were still in ISKCON and uh, 2003, 2004, again, um, we came a little bit back to Gurudev. Why is that? Because my aunt, who was also there at the time, she got, uh, she met Gurudev in 2002, 2003. There, was, there were these uh, European festivals in Holland, uh, Kijk Duin. Uh, Gurudev would come, there, would come there with all the, yeah, all his disciples, all sannyasis, and all the devotees from around the world would gather there. So my aunt, uh, Vijay Lakshmi, uh, she met Gurudev there. And in 2004, in Italy, she took initiation uh, of Gurudev, Harinama Diksha. And myself, uh, my father, and my brother, uh, Govind Gupal, we were still in Iskon, and my aunt, uh, she was telling us, uh, so my, my bua, uh, uh, she was telling us, yes, Iskon is fine, but read about Gurudev, he's a very exalted devotee, read about him. So yes, but we were little, but my father, he was always in two thoughts, because he liked it at Iskon, but he also saw some developments which he didn't like, and he was listening also to his sister. So during that time, 2004, four five. He uh, was reading also the Harikatha of Gurudev. At the time, I may, maybe still now, it was sent uh, by email, uh, Harikatha of uh, purebhakti.com. And he was also reading Gurudev's lectures. And somehow or another, uh, at the end of 2006, um, he was unhappy because he saw things in ISKCON and he was also looking for a guru who, who could help him. And he was praying uh, to, oh, Swami Prabhupada, please give me someone like you. Uh, because, yeah, I, I'm really, really unhappy here. So then my aunt told her brother, so my father, so yes, come, come, come with me. Uh, it's very nice. So then they went, it is, I think, November or December 2006 to the uh, Holland Sangha, the Shishirada Govinda Gauriamat here in Holland. It was in uh, Rot Rotterdam North, and it was a uh, small but very um, vibrant, um, uh, yeah, meeting there. It, it was very... It was not a very big building, but uh, the devotees there are very warm, very affectionate. Ramon Prabhu was also there, so he can confirm I'm not making this up. And uh, when my father went there uh, with his sister, he, he came, it was like he came home uh, from the shower outside. He just came home into a warm bed and he liked it very much. And that night when he arrived at home, he said to us, boys, from today on, We'll leave Iskon and we'll go to Gaudiamat of Shila Narayan Goswami Maharaj. Yeah, we are little boys. We said, okay, <laughs> whatever you say. And uh, from that day on, we all we all went to the Shishi Radha Green, the Gaudiamat in, uh, in Holland, in Rotterdam. So that was 2006, the first time I met Shila Gurudev's devotees, uh, his disciples. Uh, like I said, uh, uh, Ramana Prabhu was there, his, his parents. Uh, I don't know if Atul was there I, or did he already leave? I don't know. Uh, and also the other devotees in Holland, um, the, all of the, the loving, caring devotees. And in 2007, um, my father, he went to Nodweep and he got initiated there by Gurudev. And why I'm telling this, as I said, because my father's story is, uh, my story is, in, is included into his story. And when he came back from Nodweep in 2007, he was a completely different person. Uh, I know my father uh, at the time I was 14 years old, so I've known him uh, from zero to 14. But when he came back from Nodi, I didn't recognize him. He, 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 although he was, is my father, but he was a different person. He was very calm. He wasn't speaking. Uh, he was only speaking when necessary. He was very serious, very gambir. Uh, he also had this effulgence, this radiance coming from his body. And I was thinking, what is this? But yeah, I was still small at the time, uh, still small at the time, and without much knowledge. I still don't have much knowledge. So uh, at the same, uh, at that time, 
my father uh, he changed so i thought okay he he is now in a in a different level that's because of his of the initiation of he got from gurudev so i also had this desire to meet gurudev and then in july 2007 uh, gurudev came from the european festival in germany i think at the time yeah germany and he came to holland to rest for a couple of days and also to translate or write and uh, it was uh, at uh, uh, Ashok, Ashok Krishna Prabhu's house uh, where Gurudev was. And we all went there, uh, my father, my brother, and myself. And when my father entered, he immediately uh, ran to the front. I was thinking, why is he doing that? But okay. And I just sit, I sat at the back with my brother. And um, before we entered the house, my father told me, whatever you do, don't waste your time. Listen to Gurudev. Don't don't play with the other children just listen to gurudev you have played enough okay and from that moment on because now if i am looking back that was the moment my life changed why is that i'll tell you so when gurudev started speaking i became uh 100 attentive i was thinking hey this is not a normal thing because gurudev he was speaking these high high topics in a very simple way and he had this 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 um, aura on him that whenever he speaks the whole audience is listening to him so i ha i got the same feeling and he was speaking about uh, gundicha marjan and he was speaking in hindi and i was at, i i i'm fortunate that i can understand hindi a little bit so he was telling in hindi but i'll translate he said agar tum radha ji krishna krishna chandra ko apne hriday mein baithna chahte ho to usko saaf karna padega. It means if you want the Srimati Radhika, Sri Krishna, uh, if they take place in your heart, you have to clean the heart. And then Gurudev said, uh, ye jo kaam, krod, lo, mo, mat, mat hai, usko sab nikal do. Uh, yeah, we have to remove all the anarthas uh, from our heart. Similarly, uh, Gurudev said how Mahaprabhu, he took all the devotees to Gundicha temple and he gave them all a broom and a bucket and he said, we're now going to clean the whole temple and I want to see who um, cleans the most waste and he will get a reward from me. So Gurudev would say in the same similar way, we have to clean our heart and, um, from these anarthas. And if we do that, then Srimati Radha, Radhaji and Krishna will come into our heart. And he spoke many things, but I don't remember it more. And yeah, that, that that was the first time I actually met Gurudev, and when he when he spoke, I was thinking, yes, this is it. Um, because I heard so many speakers in Eskon for uh, so many years, but none of them were, uh, yeah, were none had the same effect on me like Gurudev. So at the end of the lecture, uh, Sriman Brajnath Prabhu, he was announcing, all of you who want to have initiation, please report tomorrow. Gurudev is, <laughs> is going to give initiation. I heard that. Uh, Brajnath Prabhu spoke in Dutch because he's also Dutch. So I said, yeah, okay, I want. So then I met with my father at the end of the program and I said to him, please, uh, I, I want to have initiation. But my father, yeah, he know I'm this uh, stupid, foolish boy and maybe he's just doing it because he wants. So he asked me, okay, why do you want initiation? Huh? You're such a little boy, why? So he was testing me like a good parent. And I was saying, yes, I it's necessary to do uh, to have initiation because uh, when I was small, like two, three years old, from there on, I would watch Ramayan and Mahabharat and Sri Krishna serials. And if you watch the serials, you see that also Ram and Krishna, they all both got initiation and got a guru. And Krishna, yeah, so Ram, Krishna, they all did. And the pun was also, so I was thinking, yes, you need to, go, you need to have guru and need to have initiation. So I told my father this. And he said, okay, okay, but if you will take initiation, what will you do then? And I said, I will follow whatever Gurudev tells me. Like uh, when Dronacharya, he tells Arjun, Arjun follows it. So at the same time, then he said, okay, you, you can have initiation. And so the next day we got initiation um, in the house of uh, Ananga Mohini, Mataji and uh, Shashikala Devi Dasi. So yeah, from there on the journey on the Gurudev's wing started. Uh, that was 2007. Uh, and then we start to go every Sunday to the uh, program uh, in, in, in Holland, uh, Shiradha Gwinda Gaudiamat. It was managed by uh, Indugushan Prabhu. And there we 
I'm speaking for myself, but also for my brother, because every, everywhere we went, we were together. We started our training. We saw how the devotees in Holland, everybody were doing bhajan, kirtan, speaking harikatha. Uh, we saw arti being formed. So there we learned everything. Every Sunday we were going, but also on every Avir Bhautiti or Tiro Bhautiti, there would be a program and we would go there. Just listen, observe, and yeah. And this way, to just be there and uh, yeah, develop this this um, Vaishno etiquette, this the the, the sevas, the different sevas. We learn there what the sevas are and how to perform. Uh, and the following year, 2008, there was this Italy festival uh, in Europe uh, where Gurudev would come with all of his devotees, and um, we were also there the first time. That was our first European festival and also the last because we. And we didn't really go to European festivals because my father, he said, uh, it's better for us to go to India in, during the summer holidays to stay there for five weeks than to go to a European festival for one week because we, are, we were still at school, so we couldn't go to Parikram. So he said, okay, summer holidays, it's our ticket to India. Uh, but before that, we went to Italy in uh, 2008. Guruda was there with all of his disciples from huh, Holland also, but all the countries around the world. And that was the first time I had seen such a big gathering of devotees of all around the world. Because before that, I went to school trips uh, in different cities and I saw, yeah, I saw gatherings like this, but not like so many devotees. And I told my father, oh, this is like a vacation trip, but, but a bhakti vacation trip. Because I, it's, it's like a vacation, but I see only devotees. And um, yeah, there... And the, there was this big hall and Gurudev would, would, uh, would sit and speak Harikatha and all the, the, the senior devotees up front and all his sannyasis on the podium, of course, and I would sit just in the back. And one of the days I noticed that the uh, devotees are fanning Gurudev from behind with the chamara. And one day I also saw Ramanan doing that. And I was thinking, oh, why, how did he, how... How did he came there? So, because Ramana Prabhu, from the start, he was very uh, affectionate to me, very, very fondly. He would um, take me under his wing and he would tell me things, eh, instruct me things to do. Maybe now he'll deny it, but it's true. Uh, he's shaking no, but it is, it is like that. From the beginning, he was always merciful to me and yeah, guiding me. So, at, at the end of this lecture, I asked, uh, everybody left, I asked him, hey, why, why were you fanning Gurudev? I also want to do that. But then he said, yes, if you come a little bit bigger than you can do, you're now small. So, okay, I, I understand it. So that was actually my first impression of being with Gurudev in an assembly of so many devotees. And as I said, we only had yeah, the opportunity to go on summer holiday to India, uh, not during the parikrams. So thereafter, in August 2008, July, August, we went to India for five weeks. And we stayed in Rup Sanat and Gaudiamant. Uh, under the guidance of, at the time, Rasanand Prabhu, but now Pujapa Siddha Maharaj. And there our training yeah, continued, um, how to be a devotee, how to do seva. And uh, yeah, we sometimes got uh, <laughs> beaten up or scolded <laughs> by the liberal charities. <laughs> yeah, but in, in a very <coughs> affectionate way. But yeah, it was part of the, 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 part of the training. And we went there because we heard that Gurudev would come there uh, during, during Julian Yatra. And Julanantra, as you all know, it's a five-day festival with the end of Ram Punima. And the, the swing pastimes of Radha and Krishna are being discussed. And Gurudev, when he was there, went to all the temples and performed Jula, a swing ceremony. And uh, during this Julanantra, you also had the Rup Goswami conference uh, in three days when all the devotees from uh, Braj would be uh, and the devotees, so many um, Brajavashis would be called by Gurudev, invited by them, and they would speak about Shilarup Goswami, his glories. But uh, yeah, we were uh, waiting when Gurudev would speak, so uh, we were listening to all these uh, elevated personalities, but we were waiting, Gurudev, when is he going to speak? So at the end of the, 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 uh, the class, I think it was two hours, three hours a day, Gurudev spoke for the last 10 minutes, but we heard this whole two hours and we think, okay, now everybody, everything is set about Shila Rubo Sambi. But then Gurudev would come as a cool breeze. Uh, he, he just spoke 10 minutes and 
when you thought ev everything is being said, Gurdjieff came out of the blue and spoke with something which was so good, and it was actually the best of the whole day. And not yeah, Gurdjieff was doing this three times, three days in a row. So that was the first magical experience we had with Gurudev being in the association of so many wonderful devotees. And um, yeah, uh, we cannot forget the, the kirtans of uh, Shivan Krishna Das Prabhu. Uh, his kirtans were uh, electric. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have the words. Um, magical. Um, yeah, it, it was just touching the heart. And from that moment on, I also was thinking, okay, Kirtan is very, very interesting. Uh, maybe I should try to do a little bit. At the time, I didn't know anything. I still don't. But yeah, I liked doing Kirtan. And when I came back to uh, Holland, I asked Ramland Prabhu about uh, who's Christian Das and his Kirtans and so. And he, he, he started to tell me about that a little bit. So yeah, those, those days, 2008 uh, in Brindown, those were the best actually. Uh, and we were fortunate also we went to 2008 for five weeks. We stayed in Brindavan, and in 2009, the same, five weeks in Brindavan. So those were for us the golden days, being with Gurudev, being with all the devotees in the Dham, listening to his Harikatha, Bhajan Kirtan, Arti, what more do you want? And of course, the Prashat, we can never forget that. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the, the Prashat was so, so, yeah. It was something which we never saw before. And also during Ikadasi, the Prashad in is in on Ikadasi, oh the best. If I were to have one Prashad only, that would be Ikadasi Prashad you get during Julan in Brindavan. So 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 glorious. And um, oh I see I have only six minutes left. Oh okay, so afterwards, um 2008, um, as Yashud Hari also mentioned, I got my um, Diksha initiation. That was two days after the Julian Yatra uh, was finished because Balram Punima is the last day of Julian Yatra. And two days after I got my second initiation, but how did that uh, came to that? So on Balram Punima, we came uh, to Gurudev's room and we gave him some donation. And my father, he was asking uh, Gurudev, my children, um, they already have Harinam from you, but how can I know if they're eligible to get Diksha? And Gurudev, he looked at us, he looked at me, and he said, Ajao, kal ajao, means come tomorrow, then I'll give him. Then, uh, then my father was thinking, but Gurudev, he's still young. He said, no, 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 he, he, he can, he can have. He, Gurudev said in Hindi, he is ready for it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have said it, right? Okay, yes, we, have, we, we accept Gurudev's uh, instruction. So then we went to Govardhan two days after Balram Punima, this is 2008. And Gurudev there gave uh, very mercifully, he gave me Diksha. And our uh, the Yagya uh, was performed by um, uh, Pujapat uh, Akinchen Maharaj, who was also a very uh, yeah, senior Sanyas disciple of Gurudev. And yeah, 2008, 2009, uh, 2009 those were the days. We, we were just so happy being with Gurudev, being with his disciples, his devotees, whether in Holland, in Italy, or in India. And we were thinking, yes, this is this is the best life it is actually to be with Gurudev. And yeah, then in 2010, that uh, yeah, it, it also we, we heard the message that Gurudev uh, is doing uh, sickness lila, and yeah, we were a little bit sad. Uh, and as the year progressed, we became more sad as we heard that Gurudev's situation is a little bit. Uh, deteriorating, and as you all know, in uh, December 2010, Gurudev um, he left uh, our vision and he went to his most beloved Sisi Radha Krishna. Although he is still here, we know he is here, but physically he's not, and it was a very difficult time for us uh, because, yeah, Gurudev he was the, the the beacon of hope in our life, and when he wasn't there, we were heartbroken and. Um, it was also, it is also the mercy of Gurudev that in Holland, so many speakers, so many sadhus, so many Vaishnavas are coming every year. Uh, yeah, and, and giving Harikatha organizing program. So that was our refuge. And that was our, um, yeah, our, uh, the rope which we could hold on to. Otherwise we would have been very, very lost. Uh, but yeah, uh, Gurudev, he also said eh, when he left that when I go, I'll leave six, seven Narayan Maharaj. 
and yeah, he had so many, he has so many wonderful disciples, his sannyasi disciples, but also his brahmachari disciples, the Giras disciples, all around the world. Uh, also his darling daughters and sons. Um, yeah, he inspired all of them uh, to speak Harikata, to organize programs, to motivate and to bring new devotees here. And also Gurudev was organizing Parikram for so many years and now his disciples are doing the same. And Gurudev, he was uh, uh, translating so many books from Bengali to Hindi, into English, as, as we all know, um, because he knew one day these books will be very, very valuable if he isn't there. And also on purbhakti.com, purbhakti.tv, so many lectures of Gurudev. Um, yeah, everything is actually there. Gurudev said, read my books. Um, yeah, listen to my Harikatha. I'm, I am still with you. If you have any question, just open the grant, meditate upon the author, and your question will come to you. He, he would give this example as um, he would do this if he had a question of his Param Gurudev of Shishiman Bhakti Pragyan Keshe Goswami Maharaj or a question of uh, for Rupa Swami or Bhakti Nathakur. He would just open the grant, meditate on the author, and the, the question would be answered itself. Yes, and actually, uh, as I see, I have only one minute left. Um, every devotee is doing his seva as his, uh, according his capability. And um, yeah, in the introduction, also, you should have told that uh, I'm, we are doing a little bit Kirtan of Bhajan Seva and uh, translating Harikatha uh, uh, Hindi to English or Hindi to Dutch. Um, and yes, we are all always um, hankering for the association uh, of, of devotees, uh, satsang, sadhu sang programs, whether it's in Holland or in any other country, maybe in England, I've never been, maybe in the future, uh, or any other country or India, wherever there is Harikatha or Sadhu Sang, we just go there because this is the legacy of Gurudev. And as his disciples, we follow him in every regard. And uh, yes, I see my half an hour is, is over now. So yeah, I would like to thank all of you lovely devotees who are listening and who also will be listening to this uh, program. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for this opportunity, for your kind mercy and blessings. That, uh, yeah, I'm able to, to tell something about uh, Gurudev doing Skubhush And uh, forgive me for any mistakes or any things I told which were not true or if I made any of, of, uh, faults. Um, yeah, I'm grateful for this opportunity and I would like to thank you all uh, for giving me this opportunity to do Pushpandi to Shri Gurudev. Uh, Jai Shri Gurudev Ki Jai Ho. Vanchakalap Trubhishya Kripa Sindhvevicha Patita Anam Pavani Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Namaha. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Uh, we're not, hey, you're thankful, but not as much as, as, um, as we are to have you. I, I know it's taken a, a while for us to get you on this, this program, but I'm really, really fortunate and grateful to you. Uh, Brahm Prabhu for coming and speaking such wonderful glories and it's um, you're you've spoken so many different things that um, it's just it's just wonderful and when you spoke about your your dad um, meeting Srila Gurudev and, and putting you in that position actually to be able to take Sangha of, of, of Mahabhagwat like that you know it's really really fortunate and I love the fact that when uh, your dad said I wanted to become a son of Krishna and grew them straight away without hesitation and I'm sure he did it in such a soft manner um, established the actual goal straight straight uh, from the from the start and grew them used to do that always he didn't hesitate in in giving us the goal or telling us what that goal was and um you described how when you met Srila Gurudev it was like coming home and I've heard so many devotees uh speak that that without him is it's like your father being home it's like you, you you can just run up to him and uh in in a and just speak to him and it wouldn't be it's not a problem and and this is this is the beauty of Srila Gurudev is that even when he's not accessible he's so accessible you know uh and we're really, really fortunate that uh, that we have some sort of Sangha with Srila Gurudev. And we're still having Sangha with Srila Gurudev. Um, and, and he doesn't hesitate 
in directing us in the right place even till now i'm just speaking from my own from, from my own example you spoke at the end that gurudev used to say that you know if you want, have a question just open a grant and pray and gurudev really does answer them in prayers you know i've i've there's been plenty of times where i've had questions about certain things whether they be material or whether they be uh, spiritual questions gurudev somehow or another has always manifested the answer to me so whether that's through his lecture or his um uh his his limbs like the marriages or the sannyasis whoever it is or the vaishnavas he's always provided that answer and i'm really really jealous of the fact that you got to spend that whole five weeks in uh <laughs> in india on the most suspicious day of jinmastami radhastami you learn all of the the, the times where guru they would really push rupa goswami Bad's uh, appearance and this—it's just you know to be in a position where you can see Shula Guru Dev observe these kind of festivals is very very auspicious, and um, it's just very very beautiful. Um, so thank you so much for coming on and speaking. I think you show that the brother wants to add something, so I'll ask him to add and then I'll continue. Yeah, Prabhu, that was really beautiful. A shining example of, of a wonderful push Punjali. And actually, I'll be speaking on the, the Ajay program on the 17th. So please tune in. I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'll be speaking in English. My Hindi is a bit rusty. So um, I wanted to add something that will sound like a correction, but it's actually an expansion. And what you said was true. But what I'm going to say, which sounds opposite, is also true simultaneously. You said near the beginning, of your Pushpanjali that you left ISKCON. But actually the truth is you never left ISKCON because Gurudev said, we are all ISKCON. And actually his vision is actually beginning to manifest now where if you think like, it's almost as if there are two castles in the sky. There's the castle of Gaudiya Mat and the castle of ISKCON. And the castle, uh, it's like a mystical two castles that begin from the bottom all the way to the top. And those castles at the bottom, it, it's all crumbling. The distinction between Iskon and Gaudiya Mat is crumbling at the bottom as younger people and people who are bored of arguing come together and are doing Sankan, Sankatan together. Iskon members are reading Gurudev's books. It is all becoming, and at some point, only a few people at the top who's lost, maybe lost touch with those at the bottom think there are distinctions. But this whole wall is crumbling, crumbling before our eyes. And Gurudev's distinction, his broad-mindedness of unity and diversity, where, like in family groups, we have our own family, but we also mix with our cousins and our second cousins. And this is how it will be. And as Vaishnavas <coughs> learn how to tolerate our, each other's differences and really emphasize our, the sameness between us and minimize the differences, then this beautiful community will flourish and be a beacon to the world as we transcend our differences. And will then be true to the message of Bhakti Thakur and his Bhakti Samaj, where he said, anyone who considers Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to be God, the greatest devotee, or merely a great personality, is eligible for my society. Thank Jai you. Chinanda. <laughs> Jay, I knew you'd add the Jain with you on that at the end. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, Kishan, and probably you've, you've uh, spoke something very true um and Shila Gurudev used to always say that as well that we're a part of this we're, we're one family um so thank you so much now that we've we've sprung from holy land of Holland we're going to the holy land of Rajadham uh to our next speaker who um lives in Vrindavan at the moment um and met Shila Gurudev in 2000 uh, I didn't hesitate to take Harinam and Diksha in 2000. I'm, I'm, I think they're not too far apart from the dates. Um, and he has done a lot of seva in Mathura Mat itself with Srila Gurudev. So I'm really excited to hear from uh, our next speaker. And um, when he was seven or eight years old, he actually met Srila Gurudev in Sri Sri Keshav Ji Gaudiya Mat in Mathura, Mathura itself. So um, I'm gonna, we're gonna have, because he speaks Hindi, we're gonna ask Vipin Prabhu if he's there also to unmute so that we can simultaneously hear the uh, translation. Um, 
as 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 while well, Sanjay Prabhu speaks. So, Shriman Sanjay Prabhu, ji, can you hear up? Can you hear us? Yes, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Okay, so I will. मैं मैं अभी बोल रही थी कि विपिन प्रभु आपको ट्रांसलेट करेंगे साथ साथ में तो आप थोड़ा सा बोलेंगे और विपिन प्रभु आपको ट्रांसलेट करेंगे ठीक है ओके कैन आई आस्क द डिवोट इज नो दो मिनट संजय प्रभु कैन आई आस्क द डिवोट इज टू आल्सो टेक ऑफ द कैमरास बिकॉज़ संजय प्रभुस बैंडविड्थ इज नॉट सो हाई सो इफ आई कुड आस्क यू ऑल टू स्विच योर कैमरास ऑफ एंड जस्ट विपिन प्रभु एंड संजय प्रभु हैव द कैमरास ऑन हाँ जी आप आप शुरू कर सकते हो आधा घंटा के लिए आप बोल सकते हो प्रभु जी आधा घंटा तो मैं नहीं दे पाऊंगा एक्चुअली में क्या है मेरे फोन में बहुत ज्यादा एडिटिंग हो रही है फोन में तो ज्यादा तो टाइम नहीं दे पाऊंगा टेन मिनट्स के लिए मैं दे सकता हूँ टाइम ना कि फोन में बहुत एडिटिंग हो रही है ठीक है तो आप आप कुछ बोलोगे और विपिन प्रभु आपका ट्रांसलेट करेंगे ठीक है ओके 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 मैं बेसिकली मैं मथुरा से हूँ मैं वृंदावन में जो आपका दोगाधीश मंदिर उसके पास में मैं घर है तो मैं पहले बचपन में अपने स्कूल के पास था मेरा केसर बोडिया मठ ही संजय प्रभु मथुरा and his house is very nearby shri dwarakadish mandir and during his childhood times uh, he would often visit to shikeshwar gauri math to wahan hum jaya karte the matlab prashad ke liye aise normally bacche hote hain matlab prashad ke liye gaye to wo ye log jaya karte the wahan pe prashad ke liye paam ko apna dwarakadish mandir mein apna darshan karne ke baad mein hum jaya karte the wahan pe so um, as uh, children are very fond of prasad during the evening time after visiting shri dwarakatish mandir we would go to shri keshav ji gauri math to take prasad so wahan pe main jo guru ji hain hamare gurudev ji se hamari matlab mulakat hui thi wahan pe to matlab gurudev ne kaha ki tum log mandir mein yahan pe aaya karo aur na prasad wagar matlab kafi baat hui to main jo diksha li thi wo maine gurudev se li thi maine pehli baar na teen char jo mere friend the sabne puri se diksha li thi keshav gauri math जो कि होली गेट पर है। है so uh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> uh, 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 तो 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 मैं 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 तो काफी मतलब बदलाव आए मेरी जिंदगी में मतलब काफी बहुत सारे चेंजेस आने लगे कि मतलब कि भक्ति को प्रॉपर कैसे करना चाहिए मतलब कैसे हम हरी नाम करना चाहिए तो वो सब सारी चीजें हम गुरुदेव के द्वारा मुझे सब पता लगा मेरे को सो व्हेन आई फर्स्ट स्टार्टेड हियरिंग श्री गुरुदेव इज हरि कथा के शिव जी गौरी मार्ट एंड जॉइनिंग द गौरी मार्ट लेट मी लेट माय लाइफ टू लॉट ऑफ चेंजेस इन लाइक्स ऑफ व्हाट इज हरि भजन व्हाट इज हरि नाम एंड सो ऑल दोस फिलोसॉफिकल कंक्लूजंस आई वाज एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड मोर क्लियरली तो फिर हम लोग जाया करते थे गौड़िया मठ में उसके बाद में मेरी एजुकेशन के बाद में फिर मैं दिल्ली गौड़िया मठ में भी रहा काफी दिन आपके जो आपका जो गौड़िया मठ जो जनकपुरी में है उसमें भी मैं दो तीन महीने रहा था वहाँ पे तो मेरी जो जॉब भी लगी मेरी फर्स्ट फैमिली जॉब लगी तो वो गुरु के पास ही लगी थी स्कूल में दिल्ली में सो आफ्टर माई एजुकेशन एज आई ज्वाइन एज एंट एज एज टू डेली um i even stayed at sri <coughs> raman bihari gaudiya mart for like 3 months and uh, i was also posted uh, for a particular work of mine nearby the mart ek main bhai mera phone bahut garam ho raha hai us din ek main uh the problem is that that his phones over here yeah his right? phone is uh, yes it is yeah he seems his phone is over here we'll, we'll just see if he can if he jumps back right. on right the... right we'll just give it a couple of seconds sham sham didi yeah didi uh, is you have prabhuji's contact you have got prabhuji's contact details right Yes, I'm trying to reach him, but okay. maybe it's overheated. Yes, yes, because um, yeah, he was waiting for a long time, so I think that happened. No worries. Uh, 
we'll just we'll just wait and and see if you'll come back on uh, in a second. Is on the problem? Yes, very well. We'll give it a couple of minutes and then. Uh, yeah, why well, don't uh, it's not linear? Oh, there he right? is. I can see him. I oh, can see him. Okay. ब्रह्मचारी है हमारे गौड़िया मठ पे जो गोवर्धन में गौड़िया मठ है वहाँ पे ऐसे वो वो ब्रह्मचारी है चाचा जी और हमारे पहले उनकी सेवा थी आपकी मायापुर में कभी दिल्ली वो तो हमारा काफी मतलब मिलना जुलना है गुरु जी गोरदेव जी से जो काफी जो मतलब ब्रह्मचारी है उनका सेवा तो गोरदेव जी के पास सॉरी so we had like a very close relationship with shri gurudev my uncle was living as a brahmachari in uh, shikirdhari gaudiamat and later on he was also moved to uh, <clears throat> mayapur mat in navigation of the gaudiamat in navadeep so we used to meet with shri gurudev very often to jab gurudev ji hamare papa se mil baat hui papa se log unhone kaha tha ki bachcho ko mujhe de do aap mujhe to ye hamare mandir pe rahega सब कुछ तो मैं सेवा में लोगों आपने अगर नहीं नहीं हमारा एक ही बच्चा मेरे बॉडी में नहीं भेजना है तो काफी मतलब गुरुदेव की आप बहुत अच्छे थे गुरुदेव मतलब बहुत ही उनके बारे में क्या मैं बोलूं सो गुरुदेव वन टाइम ही आस्क माय राइट सॉरी so uh, with these experiences we can tell that gurudev was very very affectionate and we had a very close relationship during those years with him gurudev ki aashirwad se mere zindagi mein bahut sari changes hue hain jaise mujhe acchi job mili aur mujhe matlab kaafi mere jo friends the bhi hua tha bahut acha bana aise ki vrindavan mein abhi meri jo abhi jo job jo lagi hai main current mein aise main vrindavan mein job kar raha hu aapka heritage school mein so by shri gurudev's mercy uh, things have changed dramatically i have even uh, gotten the opportunity to stay close to vaishnav so recently i have been appointed in a particular school and by that way i have been able to associate with vaishnavs and going to uh, you know different temples of shri gurudev very often that is shri gurudev's mercy aaj boli boli हमारे गुरु जी की कृपा से हो रहा है सब कुछ एक अच्छी जॉब भी मिलना या जो भी मेरी फैमिली के बहुत सपोर्टेड है मेरी फैमिली से गोड़िया मठ के so uh, all by shri gurudev's mercy i mean my family has been very very supportive in terms of supporting my bhakti at the same time uh, by shri gurudev's mercy uh, even the material things as we were just hearing before that even the material things are also being arranged by shri gurudev that by his mercy uh, he has allowed me to stay in vrindavan work in vrindavan which uh, makes me to stay close with shri patrim nand prabhu ji प्रभु जी मैं समा चाहूंगा मेरा फोन है ना बहुत ज्यादा बहुत हीटिंग हो रहा है बहुत चल नहीं पा रहा है मेरा फोन में हीटिंग हो रहा है मे बी फिर बाद में हां तो फिर बाद में कर सकते हैं आई थिंक आई थिंक या इस फोन इज नॉट वर्किंग प्रॉपर्ली सो प्रॉब्ली यू नो वी शुड मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट स्पीकर एंड मेरा मोर हो रहा है ठीक है प्रभु जी फिर बाद में फिर जब कभी समय होगा फिर आपसे पूछ लूंगा ठीक 
it's a it's a, it's kind of a shame because I, I've been waiting to hear from a, a Matura Vasi from for a long long time that's grown up with Shila Gurudev in Matura because I know how um I've heard so many stories of the Matara Vrasis and how they embraced Srila Gurudev and how they spent so many times. And it's just so nice to hear, even this small amount that we've just heard from uh, um, Sanjay Prabhu about how he grew up with Srila Gurudev and the love and affection Srila Gurudev had, you know, uh, it's just so beautiful. Um, I'm just really, really fortunate. That, uh, um, Sham Sundari, did he, let's try and get uh, Sanjay Prabhu back when he's got a, um, a phone that's working a bit more because it would be really nice to hear um, more stories about how Srila Gurudev was in, in those days uh, when he was fully in Mathura um, because he's just and this is the this is the beauty of Srila Gurudev that he just took every everyone um, whatever age they were and embraced them with as their own family member so um, you know I'm <laughs> I'm feeling really sad that actually we we couldn't hear so much of Sanjay Prabhu speaking, um, but I, I'm sure we'll bring him back and and hopefully we'll um, hear some more stories from Mathura Vasis um, because Gurudev's sweet pastimes with them must be incredible. I've heard some beautiful beautiful stories of Shila Gurudev with the uh, Mathura Vasis, so it'd be really nice to see what Shila Gurudev was uh, was like in those days. So. Um, thank you, Vipin Prabhu, for also um, translating as much as you could today. So I'm now going to ask you, Shodhananda Prabhuji, to take over and uh, move our class forward, if that's okay. Yushadari, thank you. I see, I see the mischievous and naughty hand of Krishna in these arrangements, making us greedier for the Qatar from uh, Bridge Basi, uh, like this. Uh, Krishna, that's why we have, that's why Radharani is our Swamini, because we can rely upon her. So Krishna, Krishna is unreliable. <laughs> so we're, um, we're going to take our flower airplane and fly over from Vrindavan through Asia, across Eastern Europe and into the hearts of our German fatherland, where we are going to come to the delightful Sripad Sriman, sorry, maybe maybe that's a premonition. Sriman Madhuvrat Prabhu, who is an absolutely darling devotee, who I'm so delighted every time I turn on something I'm hosting, Madhuvrat is invariably there, listening attentively. And I feel it's amazing in bhakti, how you can develop a relationship in almost in silence with someone, appreciating their um, submissive qualities to the Harikata, um, and their devotion to our parampara. And I feel like even though I've never met Madhavrat, uh, we have developed a very nice relationship through all these Zoom programs. It's a beautiful thing about Zoom is you build friendships that possibly you never would have had um, had it not been for this opportunity. And I do believe that after this COVID crisis has died down, this whole Zoom internet platform will be in addition. It will be, it's almost like you know, we can use Maya either in service to our senses or in service to Bhakti. And in this case, Maya is doing, because Maya wants to serve Krishna. So we're engaging Maya beautifully in service to Krishna. And after COVID, what will happen is we'll have physical meetings like normally, and we'll have this in addition. So we'll, it will be a turbo charge to our Bhakti. So I don't want to steal any of his time. If I haven't stolen any of your time, whatever, we'll add it on. Uh, we're delighted to hear from you. Uh, um, uh, offering your Pushpanjali to Srila Gurudev. Madhavrat, for those of you who don't know him so well, met the devotees in 2002 and two years later met Srila Gurudev and didn't waste any time. He took Harinam that same year and the following year he took Diksha. So a very warm welcome to you, Prabhu, brother, and um, best of luck and all blessings from Parampara and Lord Nichiranda Prabhu. Hari Bol. Hare Krishna, dear Yashodana Prabhu. I hope I'm audible by my um, Beautiful. headset. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Yes, I'm very grateful for your in invitation and your blessings. Um, I like to say this Sunday program is uh, my favorite program. And also I have very much appreciation for Shira Gurudev's 60 hour glorification this year and also the 
uh, the Navadvip Dam Sumakram was epic. It was so legendary and everyone who's helping, serving, participating, hearing, um, I pay my Dandavat Pranams to them. And I today I try to be grateful and also I try to contribute to the program in form of um, re remembering Shida Gurudev. I thought I will offer, first I will offer some prayers. Then I like to speak some Guru Tattva for introduction. So I, yesterday I thought I will explain something about the Leelas and characters of Bhakti Vedanta Vaman Goswami Maharaj for introduction because this program is also dedicated to him. And I like to remember today, if it's possible, I don't know, I'm taking the dust of all my God brothers and God sisters, all the Vaishnavas of the past, present and future to properly remember the Purushottam Parikrama of 2004. 2004 was very glorious because also I had the chance to meet with Bhakti Vedanta Vaman Goswami Maharaj just before he entered into his Mahasamadhi, into his Nichalila. So I like to do a little Dham Parikrama in the mind. And then I try, if it's possible, if enough time is left, I try to remember the evening program where Srila Gurudev, he very wonderfully, very beautifully, he explained Roy Ramananda Samvat to us. And um, uh, I'm begging all the, the blessings and the mercy of all our uh, Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis, God brothers, God sisters, whosoever is assembled, uh, I, 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 I um, I try to offer Pushpanjali today for the happiness of Srila Gurudev. So, Gurave Gaurachandaya, Radhikaya Tadaliye, Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tadpaktaya Namo Namaha, Jnana Timinandasya Dinanjana Salakaya, Chakshun Militam Yena Tasme Sri Gurave Namaha, Namo Vishnapadaya Radhikaya Vyatmani, Sri Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Nara Niti Namani Sri Krishna Lila Kadana Sudaksam Audaya Maduya Gunesh Sayuktam Param Varenyam Purusham Matam Nara Enam Tum Siras Namami Tirandinam Bhakta Sri Romanim Cha Sri Krishna Padapta Tirai Kadidi Chaitanya Lila Mitasara Saram Nara Enam Tum Satatam Kapatya Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pishtaya Bhutale Simate Bhakti Viranta Swamini Tinamine Namaste Saraswati Devi Kauravani Pracharini Nivishesha Shunavadi Pasata De Satarini Vansaka Paturu Pascha Kipa Sindhu Bai Bacha Patanam Pavani Bio Vaishnavi Yonamo Namaha Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunitananda Siddhita Gratha Sri Sri Gaurabhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Bhakta Vina Aparada Lakshe Tripta Sakamadita Rangamadhi Tripa Maitum Saranam Kapana before I speak, I offer my heartfelt Dhanavad pranams to our Anita Lila, Vishnu Mishnu Parasutra Siddhisi Sumat Bhaktivedanta, Narayan Goswami Maharaj. In the same way, also, I offer my Dhanavad pranams to Pujapad Bhaktivedanta, Bhaman Goswami Maharaj, Trika Maharaj, Bhakti Vikam Bharti Maharaj, Bhakti Vallabh Tata Maharaj. Um, Aniruddha Prabhu, Bhakti Daitav Madhav Maharaj, Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj, our Bhakti Vinanta Swami Prabhupada, Shira Gogavinda Maharaj, um, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, Shira Gokhi Shodas Babaji Bhav Maharaj, Shira Bhakti Nuttakur, I ask him all the blessings for today's Pushpanjali and glorification of the Holy Dham and um, Shira Gurudev. Also, I like to beg the mercy of our six Goswamis, especially. Rupa and Raghunath, who had very special pastimes in Jagannath Puri. And I like to also, mm, yes, um, first, um, I like to 
take shelter of Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, who we already heard in this program, he's the Kshetra Palana, the protector of Western countries. If somehow you feel dry or you feel no taste for hearing Harikata or chanting or speaking Harikata, you can have full taste by the mercy of Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, who is the very near and dear Gurudev of Srila Gorgvinda Maharaj and also of our Srila Gurudev. And he became, or he is, the spiritual master of many of our very near and dear God brothers and God sisters. And I will never forget how during Braj Mandal Parikrama, they used to offer their Pushpanjali to Srila Prabhupada. And by this, we took darshan of Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. We took darshan of his Bani Svaru, and also we took darshan of his mercy and his uh, love and affection and special taste for this. Um, actually, this is, um, yes, for this um, very special. Uh, actually, this is called Raganuga Bhakti. And outwardly, we're practicing Vaidhi Bhakti, but the Harikata and the Kirtan inside our Van Ashram Dharma is without any doubt by the mercy of Srila Guri, uh, this is called Raganuga Bhakti. There's a very special taste, a very special attraction to Braj, to give happiness to the senses of Rajendra Nandan himself. And also like uh, our Yashoda Nandan Prabhu, he told the Acharya in our line is Shumati Radhika. So they, I try to purify my senses, my heart, my speech, to give happiness and pleasure to all. So I thought how to give happiness to Srila Gurudev. So I thought I have to explain some Guru Tattva in the beginning. And uh, I thought I will remember some past times of Bhakti Vedanta Bhaman Goswami Maharaj because this will give happiness to our Srila Gurudev. And when I remember Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada and Bhakti Vedanta Bhaman Goswami Maharaj, uh, Srila Gurudev, then this will give happiness to Bhakti Vedanta Bhaman Goswami Maharaj. So I hope in this way my Pushpanjali will be successful. I remember just after the Purushottam Parikrama 2004, we had the very good fortune to visit with Bhakti Vedanta Vaman Goswami Maharaj. And um, it was the first time I saw him. And I was completely, uh, I was completely transported. I was transported out of this material world because Bhakti Vedanta Bhaman Goswami Maharaj, he's the embodiment of Swarup Shakti. He's the Raga Manjuri. He's a direct Kaiha Vyuha of Shimati Radhika. So I will never forget his blessings, his mercy, his smile. We also, that day, we got the Mahaprasad, Maha Mahaprasad of Srila Bhakti Vedanta Bhaman Goswami Maharaj. But the speciality in that meeting was that. I saw Bhaktivedanta Bhaman Goswami Maharaj for the first time, and I felt a joy which I have never felt before. And after that, I don't know where I can find this happiness in this world. It's not possible. But the disciples of Bhaktivedanta Bhaman Goswami Maharaj, they felt great agony. I have one day heard one lady cry because the husband has died, but it cannot com be compared to the crying of the disciples of Bhaktivedanta Bhaman Goswami Maharaj when they took darshan of their Srila Gurudev. Because only a few weeks later, Bhakti Vinata Bhama Maharaj, he left. So at that moment, I did not understand. I had no power to understand what is the crying of these disciples of Bhakti Vinata Bhama Goswami Maharaj. Just I recognized, but I couldn't understand. Afterwards, I could understand. And I feel very much um, blessed by seeing their attachment to Bhakti Vedanta Vaman Goswami Maharaj. And, when, and I also like to point out to one very speciality of our Gaudiya Vedanta Samiti, that even though we received Harinam very mercifully in Diksha from Srila Gurudev, Bhakti Vedanta Vaman Goswami Maharaj, without any doubt, he's also our Gurudev. And whoever has taken, accepted Harinam and Diksha from Bhakti Vedanta Vaman Goswami Maharaj, his Gurudev is also our Gurudev is his Gurudev. This is the speciality and the beauty of Gaudiya Vedanta Samiti. And not to forget, um, there's also Bhakti Vedanta Chirikra Maharaj, but he himself, he accepted no disciples, but without any doubt, he's our Shiksha Guru. So 
like to remember, um, I don't know if time will, be, time will be very short, but I have to remember some past sense of Bhaktivinoda Bhama Goswami Maharaj. One day he, the speciality of Bhaktivinoda Bhama Goswami Maharaj was that he used to visit his disciples without giving any information, just for surprise, just to bless them. And uh, one day he visited one of his disciples, I forgot his name, unfortunately, but he was working for the Indian railway station. So every morning he used to lock his door very carefully. He would lock his door and he would go to his uh, work. So one day he returned to his home, but he found that the lock was open. And also he found that the door was open. So where, when he entered his home, he could see that Bhakti Vedanta, Pujapat Bhakti Vedanta, Vaman Goswami Maharaj, he was already sitting inside. He said, Shri Gurudev, how is possible you're inside? I, every morning I very carefully close the lock, but now the lock is open and you're sitting already inside my humble home. So then Bhaktivedanta Vaman Goswami Maharaj, he replied, he said, well, I know some mantra. I know some mantra by which I can open any lock. I can open any door. So don't think that um, it, it was difficult to enter your home and sit here and I like to say this is the speciality of Bhaktivedanta Vamagaswana Maharaj and also the speciality of our Srila Gurudev. Because our heart, at least my heart, not melting so easily because it's hard. And also I feel very hard to give the heart to Srila Gurudev. But if you take the heart to give your heart to Srila Gurudev, uh, we're not giving the key. This is the problem. This, therefore our heart is not melting. So this is the causeless mercy of Bhakti Vedanta Vama Goswami Maharaj. Without any asking, he can open our heart. Even we, 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 even we have no power to give the key of our heart. Bhakti Vedanta Vama Goswami Maharaj, he likes to open our heart and sit there and bless us and try to make relationship with us. And this is the most blessed event for any Bada Jiva. The Bada Jivas, they're called Nitya, Nitya Bada Jiva. They, what, do, what do they know? They only know their own body, their own senses, their own mind, their own intelligence. So if some of the Nitya Siddha Parikas, the direct Kai Havyuha of Srimati Radhika Thakurani, if they come into this world and if they try to make relationship with us, this is the most blessed event. Nobody can change this Siddhanta. Nobody can change. This is... All who, who are here, who are listening, they have proof. Otherwise, they would not sit here and listen to Harikata. They would not listen to Pushpanjali of Srila Gurudev of Bhaktivedanta Vama Goswami Maharaj. So also one day, Bhaktivedanta Vama Goswami Maharaj, he went to visit one of his disciples. So some of his disciples, they had very humble, very humble homes. So it happened so that there was a not only one, but many holes in the roof. So when Bhakti Vedanta Vama Goswami Maharaj, he arrived there, it started raining very he heavily. So Bhakti Vedanta Vama Goswami Maharaj, his traveling kit was his black shoes and he had one black umbrella. So he just, he sat down, he opened his umbrella and whole night he, he, he started chanting Harina without any disturbance. He did not feel any convenience. And even sometimes his disciples, because he came without invitation, they had no paraphernalia to worship him. Bhaktivinata Vama Goswami Maharaj, he told, I see, I, I, you, you have love and affection for me and I have love and affection for you. So this is enough. This is, this is called Sambanda. Sambanda to make relationship with Sri Guru. And how wonderful is this Sri Guru Padasraya Bhakti starts with taking shelter of Sri Guru. Then how wonderful is this, um, this ashray of Sri Guru, the lotus feet or the transcendental body of Sri Guru when he appears in this uh, material world. So one day, because Trivikra Maharaj, Srila Gurudev and Vaman Goswami Maharaj, they are the three pillars of Gaudiya Vedanta Samhita. So one day they went for preaching. So it happened so that 
it started raining very heavily. It started raining so heavily that there was even a flood. So Shabrika Maharaj and our Srila Gurudev, they decided not to go for the program. But they told Bhakti Vedanta Bhagavan Goswami Maharaj, if you like to go, you can go. So Bhakti Vedanta Bhagavan Goswami Maharaj, with his umbrella and water was already in the streets up to the knees. So he was walking knee deep into the, the water and heavy rain from above to see if anybody has come to the program. Pravachan was going on. And to the surprise of Bhakti Vedanta Vaman Goswami Maharaj, everybody was there. And I like to say this point, there are two buckets and it is raining. And this rain is the Madhuja Kanabini, the, the near Ankush mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Because the mercy of Krishna is restricted by his Icha Shakti, by his desire. But Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his mercy is above the Icha Shakti. Icha Shakti somehow is inferior. Because for some reason, uh, sometimes Krishna, he cannot show full compassion to uh, this is written in the commentary of Srimad Bhagavatam because of his Isha Shakti. Krishna, for example, he cannot associate with the ghosts or with the Rakshasas. So somehow, this is the purpose of Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Somehow, if you cannot get the mercy of Krishna directly, you can take shelter of Shiva. That Shiva can give you purification and can give you mercy. And in the form of Kopishma Maradev, he can give you even entrance into Rasa Lila. But in the case of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the Icha Shakti is inferior to the Kripa Shakti, to the Mercy Shakti. So there are two buckets. One bucket is empty and one bucket is full. So why one bucket is empty, one is full, even though the Madhuja Kandabini is raining, showering on each and every one. So one bucket is standing upside down. So no water can be, can, can be entered that Patra, that bucket. So Bhakti Vinata Vam Goswami Maharaj is exactly that example of in which shape our heart should be. And also those who came to listen this Harikata, they had no chance to sit down. They were standing knee deep into the water. I think some arrangement was there, some mandap, some pandal for Vam Goswami Maharaj to sit. I don't know how much he spoke, one hour or two hours, but definitely the audience had no chance to sit down. They were standing in the water. They were standing in the flood to listen to Bhaktivedanta Vaman Goswami Maharaj. And this is the speciality. Our heart should be in that shape, in that position to receive the, the mercy, the Madhuja Kanambini. So um, I hope there's little time left to do a little Dham Parikrama uh, and to glorify Srila Gurudev's uh, program at Jagannath Puri. So um, I can't remember the whole sequence. I can't remember which day we visited which place, but out of my own. Uh, also, I cannot speak in a very chronological way. Our Srila Gurudev always he appreciated if we speak Harit Harikata in a very scientific and complete and chronological way. But my personal adhika is to peel potatoes and clean the floor. But for some reason, I know that kitchen department has also a place in the heart of Srila Gurudev. So I feel very comfortable to speak. I feel very happy to speak whatever comes to my mind. So first place, I like to go because I like to take the help of Srila Gurudev Maharaj to reveal the Swaru of Sri Kretadam and also to reveal the, 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 the mercy or the ashray of Sri Guru. So first of all, I like to go to Bhuvaneshwara because Bhuvaneshwara is the door to Sri Kreta Dham, to Jagannath Puri. Because Lingaraj Mandir, Shivji, he is the Kreta Palana, the protector of Sri Kreta Dham, which is formed like a conch. Some parts of the Dham, they're uh, under the ocean and some parts, the, they're visible to us uh, in form of Sri Kreta Dham. So Srila Gorgvinda Maharaj, he, his glories, his efforts to translate and speak the Harikata of Bhakti, but not the Swami Prabhupada, it is unprecedented. Who can 
who can distribute freely to each and everyone the mercy of Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, who can establish the lotus feet of Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada in the hearts of the Kali Yuga Jivas, who can do so? Um, it is our Srila Govinda Maharaj. And already in Bhuvaneshwara, we're taking darshan of Jagannath, Baladev, Subhadra, Krishna, Balaram, and Gornitananda Prabhu. And um, I'd like to speak something. Srila Govinda Maharaj, he told that there's one special type of honey coming from the lotus feet of the spiritual master. It's called Patma Madhu. Patma Madhu in Ayurvedic treatment is applied to the eyes to purify the eyes. Like, was the most famous shloka of Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, Prem Anjana Charita Bhakti Vilochanena, that the eyes must be, un, uh, must be decorated with the love and affection, the Prem of Braj to see Shyama Sundar, Rajinda Nandan. So this Patma Madhu is just perfect, which is flowing from the lotus feet or lotus mouth of the spiritual master to purify the eyes. But Srila Gauguna Maharaj said, this Patma Madhu, it is purifying the heart. It's giving nectar, it's giving life to the heart. Because all those who have no shelter or have no power to do Sharanagati, they can be sure that Srila Gauguna Maharaj, he likes to collect them and, li and he likes to personally sit inside the heart to purify them and to connect them to Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada and to our Guru Prampara. And also, I like to say the speciality of Srila Govinda Maharaj and the speciality of Shri, our Srila Gurudev is a similarity in their realization of Jagannath Puridam and also the Mahabhav Swarup of Jagannath. How this Swarup of Jagannath has manifested, how his eyes became so big, how he lost his hands, how he lost his. His, his, his legs, his feet, due to ecstasy of Braj. So I don't know if there's time to explain all this. I think I'm already I'm over time, but um, I just uh, quickly, I try to continue. So Srila Gauguinda Maharaj, he revealed that Sri Kshetra Dham, Sri means Radhika. And this, the beauty of Jagannath Puri is the Vripralamba. We are trying today, we're trying to touch the Vripralamba Tata. The the the, 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 the the embankment of separation. There's Sambok and Vibhalan, but there's one very special flow of frame in Braj. And sometimes the waves, they're going to Sambok, and sometimes they're going to Vibhalan. So Sri Kshetra Dham is the Vibhalan Tatra, is the, the, the separation mode of Srimati Radhika. There may be some Yogini, there's maybe Vyogini Radha, there may also Vishabhanu Nandini, the different types of Vihara, so they are all tasted by Sri Satchananda Gaurahari in the Gambira. Gambira is the gateway, the doorway to Vrindavan. We should not think that we can enter Vrindavan by dressing like a gopi or like dressing like Putana because Krishna, he became merciful to Putana. We, we should not think that we can dress like a gopi or like Putana and in this way we'll get the mercy. Uh, the official way, the official standard of our Guru Parampara to enter Vrindavan is Gambira. So after taking the mercy and the blessings and the purification of Sri Gaur Govinda Maharaj, I'd like to invite you all to visit Sri Gaur Govinda Ashram in Bhuvaneshwara, which was the ashram of our Sri Gurudev and all the sevaks, they tried according to their facility, they tried to offer their life in the seva and the service of Sri Gurudev. And also I remember how we got training from the senior disciples of Srila Govinda Maharaj. They also, they surrendered to Srila Gurudev. And I remember Srila Gurudev, he came two times to visit that place. So I like to decorate all the yatris with chandan and garland. And I like to offer Mahapasa to all of you because this place is very special to establish Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada in your heart, Srila Govinda Maharaj. And also Srila Gurudev, they very easily, they can enter your heart. Um, this place, Gorgwinda, Gaudi Ashram, is a very mystical place. I remember I had so many dreams of Srila Gurudev at night that one day I opened my heart to Bhakti Vedanta Muni Maharaj. And he told me, yes, yesterday night, Srila Gorgwinda Maharaj, he came 
to my room when I was sleeping in my dream. And he asked about all the welfare of all the matbasis, if we need anything, if we have some problem, if everything is going all right in the service of Sri Guru. And there's also Sri Gurudev, he gave um, Radha Govinda and Mahaprabhu. These deities, I've never seen any perfect deities like this because they have been broken down two or three times just to make them perfect. I've never seen so beautiful deities like Radha Govinda and Sachinanangora Hari. And really, they, they are the heart and soul of our Srila Gurudev. So now they're residing at Radha Kund because somehow the property was sold. So with all the blessings and mercy of our Ajayas, I'd like to visit Lingaraj Mandir to take the blessings to enter Jagannath Puri. Also, there's Bindu Sarovara, Gauri Kund, and also the deity of poverty of Gauri there is so beautiful. It's so merciful, so forgiving in nature. And also, I remember one day with um, one god brother, we entered illegally Anantavasadev Mandir. Westerners, they cannot enter Anantavasadev Mandir. But since nobody was there, we entered and um, we took darshan of Anantavasadev, even though it's completely forbidden. It's like um, they can kill you. The smarter Brahmanas, they can kill you if you. Without permission, you enter the mandir. But somehow, out of our mm, extreme greed, we entered. And I like to say these deities, Ananta, Vasudev, they are like the special sweetness we have seen in the appearance of Lord Jagannath in Western countries because they have the perfect size for Archan. And um, we should not think. In general, we glorify Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada that he came alone to Western countries. But everybody knows he brought Jagannath. He brought Jagannath to every home, to every. You can go to your local Hare Krishna center. Jagannath Baladev Subhadra is there. So he, Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, he brought that sweetness from Jagannath Puri or Bhuvaneshwara. He brought to distribute into the whole world. And um, as we try to enter Jagannath Puri, first of all, we have to take shelter of the Sudarshan Chakra. Sudarshan Chakra is such a special mercy or a facility because Sachinanan Gorhari, he saw Gopal dancing on the rooftop of Jagannath Mandir. When he saw the Sudarshan Chakra, he saw Gopal dancing. So we're taking shelter of the Patita Pavana, Jagannath. We cannot enter the mandir, but we should appreciate very special love and affection of Jagannath. How he came down the stairs, all the stairs he came down just to greet us, to welcome us to his holy dam. So we should do some kirtan. We should offer some prayers to Jagannath to, um, to do uh, dam parikrama. We were so fortunate to do dam Parikrama with Srila Gurudev, but unfortunately, I can't remember all places. Um, definitely, I remember how we visited Gundijya Mandir and also Pran uh, Gopal Prabhu. Already, he explained the system, uh, the procedure of how to clean the Mandir, or how to clean the heart with this Kirtan Govinda Dhamma Dharma Daveti Govinda Dhamma Dharma Daveti to make the heart a Ratna Simhasan for Jagannath, Baladev, and Subhadra. And also next to the Gunnicha Mandra is the original deity of Jagannath Puri, which is the Nisingadev. So Nisingadev, before the appearance of uh, Jagannath, Baladev, and Subhadra at Ekachakatita, it was called the Nisinga, the Nisinga um, Chitra. And just because Srila Gurudev, he entered Nitya Lila at this place of Ekachakra, I'd uh, like to read something from the embankment of separation of Srila Gaur Vindamash, even though time is very short. Because that, it, that um, class is called Three Logs of Wood. And here it says, um, oh, actually, it's the wrong page. Oh, it's the wrong page. I'm sorry. Well, I. I I, in my preparation, I did some mistake, I'm sorry. But Srila Gaurabhinama, she explained how three, the Dauru Prama uh, appeared at Ekat Chakra. 
and they were floating in the ocean, which means Radhaba. They were floating in the ocean of Radhaba. So this is how they're taking this very special uh, molten form. Krishna, he's melting. This is his form as Mahabhav. He's melting. So he's established there at, at, at Ekachaka. He came and Srila Gurudev, he entered Nitya Lila there 2010. And just a few uh, footsteps, just a few minutes, uh, Bhakti Pramapuri Goswami Maharaj also entered Nitya Lila there. And then remember when we did Parikrama, we had also the good fortune to meet with Bhakti Vaibhav Puri Goswami Maharaj, who I only saw one time in my life, but that darshan was life changing. I very clearly remember his words. Uh, no one can speak the absolute truth without flattering, unless he's such a powerful Nitya Siddha Parika of Krishna or Radharani. So, also, we have to uh, visit the Tota Gopinath Mandir. We have to pay our obeisance there, pray to the foot dust there. Also, very close by, there's the uh, the, 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 the Bhajan Stali of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, where he performed his Nam Yagya. So we like to sing Ohe Vaishnava Thakur there. And also we try to take his mercy and blessings to proceed to the uh, Samadhi of Haidas Thakur. And I remember I was so fortunate. I was inside the Parikrama crew uh, when we entered the Samadhi of Haidas Thakur. And there was a big, huge kirtan which I think everyone remembered who was there. So uh, also we have to take uh, Darshan of Siddha Baku, uh, that tree which Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu manifested himself from a stick to, 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 to give shade to uh, Haridas Thakur and also Mahaprabhu with his own hands. He would serve Mahaprasa to uh, Haridas Thakur there. And the ocean itself became a tirta. Because Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he gave bath after he Haridas Thakur entered Samadhi. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself, he performed the Samadhi ceremony of Haridas Thakur and he gave bath uh, in the ocean and he uh, proclaimed that the ocean of Jagannath Puri is, is a tirta. So after seeing uh, Siddhabhaku, we will come to the Gambira, where there's the deity of Radha Kanta. Radha Kanta, he was staying inside. Oh, also there's Gopal Guru Goswami. We also have to pay our obeisances to him. And Radha Kanta, he was staying inside the, uh, the Jagannath Mandir, but he took all the offerings of Jagannath. So Jagannath had him, rem had him removed to Gambira. And Gambira, I remember, uh, I had no chance to go inside because Gambira is not too big. And... But Srila Gurdjieff, he was inside and he was speaking Harikata and Kirtan was going on. And, um, but there was no chance to go inside because so many pilgrims already they have entered. So, um, as I, I hope I, I could explain something about the glories of Gambira already, which is the doorway to Vrindavan. And Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he, he tasted the, the, the separation mode the Mahabhav, Maranakya or Muranakya Mahabhav, together with Swarup Damada and Roy Ramananda, who are non different from Lalita and uh, Vishakasaki. So, this place, place is very, very important to us. So, after taking darshan and blessings from that place, we will return to Jagannath and we will return to the Sri Chaitanya Gaudiamat, which is the birthplace of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. We will go inside and we will take Mahaprasad there. And we cannot, in my words, I cannot explain how very near and dear Bhakti Taku is to our Srila Gurudev. His kirtans, especially his Sharanagati kirtans, his, all his kirtans, the Bhakti Dara, his, his teachings, they're unparalleled. They cannot, uh, there's so much near and dear to Srila Gurudev. And also Bhakti Nyutaku, he prayed for a ray of Vishnu to appear. So Bhakti Siddhanta Saswati Thakur, he preferred to become his own son and he was born that place uh, on the Grand Road, very close to uh, Jagannath Mandir. And we had a very good fortune to be there for two weeks uh, to be guest with Bhakti Valapthita Maharaj. Actually, he was not there at that time, but 
he 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 made us very comfortable, and um, it was the great effort of Bhakti Data of Madhav Maharaj to establish this place, this birthplace of uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, who is uh, we always try to glorify or remember the love and affection of Srila Gurudev, but the love and affection of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, by hearing, I got the impression or the proof, his love and affection wasn't different from Srila Gurudev. And also Srila Gurudev, he's non different from Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. The love and affection we have gotten from our Gurudev, which we try to remember in our heart, is coming from Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. And that place is so wonderful because the whole ashram, the whole mandir is filled with the senior disciples of Bhakti Data of Madhav Maharaj. And also the Takoji is very special there. And um, I remember, I wanted to remember, I don't know, time is very short, but maybe I can remember something of the evening program. Because Sri Gurudev, out of his own sweet will, he explained the Roya Ramananda Samvat to us. And I remember, uh, I don't know, exactly which time the program started, but some of the Vaishnavas or Vaishnavis, they were sitting inside the Mandir to do some Kirtan, and others, they were standing outside to receive Srila Gurudev for the program. And I remember each evening, each night, when uh, Srila Gurudev came, the whole atmosphere would change. As soon as there were some signs of the arrival of the appearance of Srila Gurudev, all the the, 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 the the expression on the faces of all the Vaishnavas, they changed. And also the kirtan changed because suddenly the kirtan was filled with the life of the remembrance of our Srila Gurudev. And I remember one incident when Srila Gurudev, he was received, there were two type, there were uh, two lanes made, one corridor where everybody who would receive Srila Gurudev would give his Dandavat pranams, garland or some donation or Srila Gurudev would freely distribute his blessings or he would ask about the welfare of his disciples. So one day I was standing by and I was looking to the left, there was the entrance of the mandir and Srila Gurudev was coming from the right. So there was one small girl, because as I have told, whenever Srila Gurudev came, all the hearts of all the jivas got changed. So I remember her, I don't know what was her age, maybe like five, six, seven, like this. So when she understood that Srila Gurudev was, would come because everybody was making sight, she was running down the lane, which was made for Srila Gurudev. She was running down the lane. And when she came around the corner and she saw Srila Gurudev, she opened her arms like this and she started running even faster and she crushed into Srila Gurudev, embracing Srila Gurudev with both arms. And I remember Srila Gurudev, he started laughing so much. He could, his oceanic smile, and also Madhav Maharaj, he started la laughing so much. Everybody was so delighted by the natural affection. Actually, this is perfection. This is perfection to have natural affection for the spiritual master. So I remember she could not let go. She was embracing Srila Gurudev like this. And then Srila Gurudev, he wanted to walk. And he, she was looking at her. And then she understood, okay, Srila Gurudev wanted to leave, want to walk to the Manishu. She opened her arms. And Srila Gurudev, he would progress towards the Mandir. And I have one picture here. Where is it? I Do hope you can. We need to uh, land, land flower airplane now. I think. Okay, just I will end. I hope you can see. Uh, it's not showing properly the picture. Uh, you hope. need to take the picture off your background off to show us. Ah, okay. I'm sorry, because I wanted to show how Srila Gurudev was seated there among all the jewel-like Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis. He was the moon among all these uh, very senior Vaishnavas. And I remember how they performed Kirtan, how there was also a drama play, which was very beautiful. And Srila Gurudev, he explained Roy Ramananda Samvat in a very special way, up to Radha Tattva. What is the significance of Radha Tattva? Because without the guidance of Srimati Radhika, without the guidance of this uh, bath or prem, we cannot give happiness to Krishna. We cannot enter Vrindavan. We may enter Dwarka, like Mirabai, we can maybe, and 
we can enter Dwarka, or we cannot enter Vrindavan. So Radha Tattva is very important. Not all, in all Sampradayas, they understand why we are glorifying Shrimati Radhika, because there's some difference between Parakya and Swakya Bhav. So most of the Sampradayas, they worship Jagannath in the Swakya Bhav. But I have some proof, some evidence that at the time of Sri Satinan Gora Hari Jagannath, he was worshipped in Par Parakya Bhav. And this is visible by the Archan mantras, because that Gopa mantra and that calm Gayatri we got from our Srila Gurudev is very special. And this is very unique in the Archan, in the, in the Madhurja Bhav and Swakya, uh, excuse me, Pakriya Bhav of Vrindavan to pronounce, to, to recite these mantras, to give happiness to Jagannath, and to be under the guidance of Srimati Radhika. And um, I, unfortunately, I took too, too much time. I also, I wanted to glorify the Jagannath Mahaprasad because some person, I don't know, whoever that was, he decided to send one bullock cart of Jagannath Mahaprasadam every evening. And when Srila Gurudev left, there was a big kirtan, Govinda Ramo, Dharama, Dharamati, Radhe, 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 Jai, 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 Sri Radhe. And Srila Gurudev, he would not leave until he has heard that kirtan. He would not enter his car. And after that, there was the big feast to end my Pushpanjali, very sweet. There was the big feast of Jagannath Mahaprasad. And I remember how all the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis they got changed, they got transformed by taking this Mahaprasad. And for many days, discussion was going on how Lakshmi Devi, she personally, she's cooking in the Jagannath Mandir. So I like to end my Pushpanjali with again and again offering my Dandavat Pranams to Srila Gurudev, Srila Gogvinda Maharaj, Bhaktivedanta Vama Goswami Maharaj, Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, all the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavas who are assembled here, who are listening, who are serving, who are making this uh, program possible for us who bring so much blessings in our life by the remembrance of Srila Gurudev. And I ask only one thing from them, one blessing that life after life, I can be born among Bhakti Vedanta Chirika Maharaj, Srila Gurudev and Bhakti Vedanta Vaman Goswami Maharaj, Vanchakal Paturupas Chakri Pasindubha Evacha, Patitinam Pavan and Yo Vaishnavi Yo Namo Nama. To be perfectly honest, uh, Prabhu, I feel that anything I'm about to say are the words of a rampaging elephant in the face of a beautiful chakora bird. <laughs> and I have to say also your voice, even if I wasn't a devotee, I reckon we could put your voice recording anything like this and people would love it, even if they didn't understand a single word you were saying, because... Um, you have the same effect on me that Naimi Mirage has when he starts playing his instruments. It just puts me into a state of complete, almost like a trance. It's very, very beautiful. Um, there are just a few things I'd like to sort of summarize or extract from what you, you said, uh, which is extremely beautiful and very touching and the, the vibration of your intent. Like it's not just what people say, it's not what devotees say only, it's the heartfelt, is the heart and intent behind it that we can receive to some extent. Uh, and I love what you said about having, you know, bring our hearts to Gurudev or um, Sri Raman Maharaj and how, but we don't give them the key, but he was able to actually take the key as, you know, unlock the heart, you know, to have the confidence that our Gurudev, you know, I think sometimes when we want to dissipate in an arta, and we think, oh, this anatta is so strong, it's so much in control of me. To say, well, here I am, Gurudev, my heart is, is, is yours. And I know you have the key. So just, just, I can't give, I don't know how to give you the key. I don't know where the key is. Just take it, do it, do, do what you will with my heart. It's a very beautiful meditation, a very beautiful way to use that on, our, on ourselves. And um, you also demonstrated through your beautiful experience of all the, places in the holy dharms the the power of going to the any dharm whether it be jagannath puri or or navarip or, or vrindavan any dharm that we go to in our mind these are beautiful impressions it's a very powerful gurudev always used to encourage us i remember often uh, say walking by the river thames thinking i'm 
um, by the Ganges. I mean, it's a little bit of a stretch aesthetically, I know, but you can do it. It's, it's really, you can do it and it's very powerful. Yes. And um, when you were talking about uh, entry to the transcendental world and the importance of Radha Tattva, I was thinking how, how everything starts with Guru. Guru gives us entry to Parampara and all those relationships. And they give us entry to Lord Nityananda Prabhu. And he gives us entry to Mahaprabhu. And Mahaprabhu gives us entry to Radha, who gives us entry to everything and Krishna. So it's, it's, it's a beautiful, no, nothing should be cut off from each other. There's no mm -hmm. um, segmentation. There's no compartmentalization. It's a total flow of love. And yes. um, yeah, and I'm definitely going to take that little girl into my meditation because I want to be like that little girl. That natural affection, so beautiful, where you drop the impressions and the cacophony of the mind, you drop the radio of the mind, and you're just just open armed, and mm. how you described it, natural affection, very very beautiful, uh, Prabhu. Thank you so much. I think I, I got the sense that the devotees really um, were very nourished by your pushpanjan. Thank you. Hi, Krishna. Very well. So we're going to move from. Um, Germany and uh, our next uh, guest is and I just remembered you should I did forget to thank somebody I forgot to thank Navalatka who's helped us help very much bring us uh, a number of devotees to speak um, to speak in uh, on these programs so thank you Didi it's much appreciated and uh, Navalatka from Bolivia has arranged for uh, Shiman Rangapuri from Florida to uh, share his Pushpanjali um, and um, he met the devotees in 1979 and uh, joined ISKCON in 1980 and um, then got the association of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas in 1993 and very exciting for me because I absolutely adore this Vaishnava. He took initiation from uh, Bhaktivedanta uh, Puri, uh, Bhakti Vinod Puri, Bhakti Vinod Bhakti Pramod Puri, the Swami Maharaj. I remember when I first saw a picture of this amazing guru with my Gurudev, just in that one picture, I felt that I was allowed some kind of access to the sweetness of the relationship between them. And that made me really desire some kind of association, even though he's not on the planet anymore. So I'm very excited that we have a disciple of his um, offering Pushpanjali today. So with a very warm welcome, Shiman Rangapuri Prabhu, please offer your Pushpanjali. Hari Bon. Hare Krishna, Dhanavad Pranams to all. Thank you so much for the opportunity to welcome. be amongst all these swans. Uh, so, Om Ajahn Timuram Dasi Jnan Jnan Shilaka Chakshram Tam Jnan Tasmai Shidra Namaha Sujaita Namana Bhushtam Tatkam Jnan Parasaram Rupakaram Jnan Dhati Svapram Sambam Dham Shri Guru Shri Uta Parakaram Shri Guru Mbaish Namaste Shri Guru Om Sagri Jatam Sahala Naragamatam Jatam Tam Sajna Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Dev Shri Raha Krishna Tam Sahala Naraita Shri Sri Kampitam Sahir Krishna Karuna Sindhu Nibandhara Patitanam Pavana Jo Vaishnava Jo Namaha Sri Krishna Chaitana Prabhu Nitanam Shalaitana Rasa Gaur Vakvayi Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Jai Well, of course I'm not worth you, your association. Nevertheless, I, I thank you so much for allowing me to be in this uh, so privileged circle. Um, in, in, uh, maybe we need a, a little background because Bolivia uh, 
is a, is a country in the other part of the world. Maybe some people think this is uh, Africa or whatever. We're in, in South America. And um, the Hare Krishna movement actually um, was present here in 1976 through Pralana Prabhu, the only proper disciple uh, from Bolivia. But uh, I met the devotees in 1979. Uh, it, it, well, in a, in a very fortunate opportunity, be, being vegetarian, I was a Buddhist, atheist, and all the anarthas together. But I came to meet the devotees and uh, enter this wonderful world. So I joined ISKCON in 1980, next year. And there was an old style ISKCON, maybe some of you have experienced, it was like an army. Of course, beautiful, very nice. Uh, there was strong discipline and um, when we were requested to surrender. Uh, our understanding of surrender was full surrender. What, what that mean? Is that uh, coming to join the temple meant that you rent a truck, you put all your belongings in the truck. I had a, a very young son, two years old son, maybe you know him, Hare Krishna Das, he lives in Vrindavan now. So this was our understanding of surrendering. We were not going through the, the verses, the, the, the right uh, philosophical understanding, but okay, we surrender everything means everything, bringing all your belongings, in, in this case, my son also. So that was joining the Hare Krishna movement then. And uh, well, actually, from the very beginning, I have to, to make it clear, uh, I'm not actually a devotee, but we were trained as uh, aspiring servants of the devotees, kind of doorkeepers, bringing people in, inviting prasad, no, performing some kind of kirtan, uh, giving class and, and things like that in a very elementary way. So my opportunity came in 1982 when I went to Vrindavan to the Samadhi Mandir inauguration of Shila Bhakti and the Sami Prabhupada, our Prabhupada. And I intended to visit uh, Shivakti Rakshakshidar Dev Maharaj because at that time uh, in the BBT, I was doing some little service. We used to present him uh, our translations, all for he didn't speak Spanish, of course, but um, we felt we, we needed that kind of blessing. So we used to, to send him our works even our magazines for him to approve. But to my surprise, when I arrived in, in, in India, uh, the GVC changed the rules. So at that time they decided to break apart from him and suddenly we were not allowed to see him. So it was a very shocking experience. And then, uh, Anyway, but we, we had just to, to follow and obey. So it took me like 11 more years to rebel myself against <laughs> the institutional rules. And in 1993, I decided to, to meet actually the Vaishnava sadhus and uh, like break, up, break apart from the mainstream Eastern and uh, yeah, one of those fortunate days, I met Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayana Maharaj in Vrindavan. 
in Brenda Kun, and actually he was uh, such a brilliant and, and wonderful Vaishnava. So um, we had a little parikram in Vrindavan. I was just following behind. As years passed by, then uh, I took shelter on my dear Gurudev, Sri Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj. And um, one of my ambitions was to talk with Srila Bhakti Narayan Maharaj. And I went to ask him questions because I knew he was very expert in, in every Vaishnava field. So um, I, I, I made a little project was the, to translate the Ramayana into Spanish language. So I got the blessings of my Gurudev. And I went to see him in Vrindavan, my son. He was serving him very closely. Well, actually, there was a little pastime there because also my son joined when he was two years old. And he met all the initiating devotees in Iskon. He actually was never able to surrender. So I was thinking, oh, he's around 20 years old and he doesn't take initiation. But what, what, what can I do? So I thought, oh, you have to meet my Buddha. So go to, to meet Sri Bhakti Guru Goswami Maharaj in India. Uh, but I didn't have enough money to send him up to India. So I sent him to, to the US. And well, he's saying this, no news, good news. So he didn't write to me. I didn't know much about his whereabouts, but I got a letter, I think one month after a letter, of course, I recognize his handwriting and he was signing Hare Krishna Das. So my son already changed his name. He found his guru in, in, in Miami. And then he went to Badger Festival in California. So he surrendered himself so quickly, so easily. You know, when after 18 years, I, I wasn't able to, to have him surrender to any devotee. But then when he met Chila back then, Narayan Maharaj was like a, a magical thing. Finally, he found his his way, his guru, and he told me he was going to live with him in Mathura. Then Kesavji Gaudiyama. So that was for me like a clear indication that Srila uh, Narayan Maharaj was like a, a magician. He was able to, to melt the hearts of, of devotees, to attract people into some uh, beautiful realm. And I also remember, because the, um, when I visited his devotees and the Sangha, everything was very nice. You know, the Kirtans, the Harikata, was something very sweet. Uh, so it, it was very nice. Then uh, I started thinking that we have to bring this world to, to Bolivia. You know, we have to give the, the people in Bolivia the, the chance to get in touch with this wonderful world. Uh, also, uh, the magic goes in many ways. I think that the Krishna Bhaktas in the West, of course, were blessed by Srila Prabhupada in a unbelievable way, but we have been blessed by, by these sadhus in such a, a way. For example, Prabhupada was about 11 years in the West. Then devotees 
that were fortunate took shelter on Sri Bhakti Rakshak, Sri Dev Goswami Maharaj. And more or less his influence was another 11 years. And then came the time uh, of getting uh, association with Sri Bhakti Pramod Puri Maharaj. She was also for 11 years like giving advice to the devotees. And then finally, the 11 years of Srila Bhakti and Panaraya Maharaj. And what was transpiring is that Iskon times, the understanding was very basic, but very strong. Then the, the, the Vaishnava Siddhanta came Came more clear with Sri Bhakti Rakshaksha that there was a Maharaj. He, he was so brilliant, so, so perfect to explain the things. And then came the humbleness and sweetness of Sri Bhakti Pramukhuri Maharaj. You know, the Shudanam Tattva, you know, how to, how to surrender to the holy name, avoiding Vaishnava Parad. And um, yeah, the, 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 the final, I would say, refinement of this understanding, I think, was given by Srila Bhakti Antanaray Maharaj. That was a real Bhakti Rasayan. Uh, he was bringing, you know, a glimpse into the Raganuga Bhakti. Before, even when we ask our Gurudev, or we requested Srila Bhakti Rakshak to, to talk these topics. He said, oh, put these topics in, you know, after many other things that have to come before. So uh, they were using Sri Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur saying, you know, first deserve, then desire. So we were being like, hold it until we were like more or less prepared to get some some farther mercy. But then then the day came, you know, that we were able then to, to listen to this very sweet Harikata, this uh, Raganuga Bhakti taste gi given uh, actually very freely to the devotees. And we started to invite also the sadhus associated with him um, maybe I got the best from Sri Prem Prayojan Prabhu that was very kind with me. I was even able to share a room with him and he was actually kind of translating to me all this wonderful world because uh, uh, he's so intelligent and, uh, and his mind is so clear that I was able to I would say be introduced in, in, into this world somehow or other. And then, you know, since then, I would say that most of the devotees in, in Bolivia became either disciples of Sri Bhakti Antanaray Maharaj or disciples of his disciples. And um, well, what else to say, you know, it's like, he, he brought so much sweetness to our practice, to our understanding, uh, so much fresh um, meanings to the things. Of course, I don't even deserve to pronounce his name, but what I can say is that um, even though for, I, I'm not even a bhakta, but uh, this input of his grace has put this this uh, country that's big in size but very unknown in into the Vaishnava world. You know, we, we go to Vrindavan town. Now my son has again come back to live in, in India. He's living in Radha Kunj. Um, we have a, another, actually, God sister, Madhavi. Madhavi is living in India also so long. Usually, you know, 
taken care of Umar Bibi or uh, Bon Maharaj when he's there, Sipad Bodai Maharaj, very sweet. Now we have Manjulali also in, in Vrindavan. So all these devotees are being blessed. And of course we have Navalatika. She was here recently. In the, maybe she's still in the, in the Zoom. So all these devotees, uh, Hari Ras, uh, Lila Madhuri, uh, I think that Hari Ras mentioned that, that sometimes there were so many devotees coming from Bolivia to, to the dam. I, it was unbelievable for me, you know, in, in, in good old times, it was very hard if, if somebody, you know, arrived in India once every three, four or, or, or 10 years. But then all this all this flood of mercy started coming here, and the only thing I can say to all is, is thank you so much for you know giving shelter to to these devotees coming from from South America, uh, opening your hearts to their association, and uh, you know having this. Uh, Sweet Nitai Goranga pastime of Sankirtan being spread all over the world in such, uh, uh, you know, uh, sweet and wonderful manner. So I just feel immense gratefulness for all of you. I offer my prostrate Dandavat. Thank you, Yashodanandan Prabhu, also for arranging this. Uh, so, please accept me as, as, as your servant, all of you, and hope someday I'll, I'll be able to, to do something at your lotus feet. Thank you, Dandava. Well, thank, thank you, Prabhu, and thank you so much to Navalatika, who, um, whenever we engage in serving with her, is a total delight to serve with, and um, it's wonderful to have her enthusiasm uh, injected into many of these savor initiatives. Um, I loved what you said, Prabhu. Thank you for a beautiful Pushpanjali. Uh, a bit like Manubrad, actually, you, you also have this very sort of um, uh, mellifluous and meditative way of um, sharing your Pushpanjali. So I think uh, by, the time this, by the time this program ends, I think I'm going to be almost floating on a floating one foot off the floor. Um, it's very beautiful. Um, I loved, I loved your, I'd never heard anyone talk about that 11 year cycle. I never thought of it that way. It's almost like evolution by revelation. Um, all the tapa, all the rasa is already there, but, um, but our Parampara, Krishna and Radha and Mahaprabhu and Nichananda are beautifully arranging for it to be revealed at the right time so that, um, so we don't get heart indigestion. Everything is is built one one floor at a time, which is very beautiful. So thank you for sharing that with us. And um, I just wondered if, do you have anything, <clears throat> we're short on time, but I'd love to hear anything you have about any interaction you saw or heard about between uh, Srila Bhakti Pramod Puri Maharaj and my Srila Gurudev. Oh, yes, definitely. Just something would be lovely, some little, uh, some little injection of that relationship would be wonderful. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Actually, um, once, um, he was uh, offering some service to, to my Gurudev in, in, in the river, in the Ganga River. And he was holding his, his lota and his gamsha, but somehow, you know, the, the, the lota slipped away from, from the hands of Sheila Bhakti and Tanarayan Maharaj, and then the, the lota was lost. So in a sweet, angry mood, you know, my guru said, oh, you're only good for writing books. <laughs> so <laughs> like, <laughs> of course, um, he respected so much his uh, so deep knowledge of, of the things. 
and um, he was very uh, kind. You know, there are some sweet uh, photographs of them together. But also, I, I have to recall that Sheila Naemash used to kiss me. You know, he liked to kiss me a lot. I remember when I came back from um, from uh, Jagannath Puri, where I met my Gurudev, talking about the Ramayana, and he told me, go visit Sheila Bhaktanaram. Vedanta Naemash, he's, he's, you know, such a pundit on the subject. So. I went to visit him in Brindavan and um, he used to tease me so much. So I told, well, you know, I am translating Ramayan and said, why Ramayan? You should do Bhagavata. Well, I was so surprised. But years later, when I met him in Brazil, he used to remember so clearly our last dialogue that he started telling me, you know, a lot of pastimes and things as, as if nothing happened. Also, when I met him in Badger, because at that time I was doing service uh, as a diplomat and I wanted to offer him some service. I said, oh, no, 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 you're so high already. Your, your Guru Dev is so high. So what can I tell you? So somehow I was, I was telling also some devotees, uh, and some, somehow I felt like rejected you know, but in, in a loving way, because, uh, you know, he, he liked to, to play also. He looked so serious, but uh, sometimes he was, he was in a playful mood, like, like, uh, like a child, you know, and uh, it was something surprising because I, when I went to, to visit the Sadhus, you know, I, I, I revered them so much, but then he came like so, so playful, suddenly. Also, I asked some question in, in, in Vrindavan about Raganuga Bhakti. And, and then he said, oh, you have to read, read Raga Varma Chandrika. So read that, then you, you'll know. So suddenly, you know, he, he changed his mood. And of course, I appreciate now very deeply because I was like, uh, being blessed, taking part on this change of mood and in this playful mood as well. Yeah, but um, yes, my of course my 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 security didn't allow me to to follow him so closely. So, but my son was was fortunate, so I, I'm, I'm happy that. Uh, the devotees in Bolivia, my son himself, took so much advantage of his association and were able to, you know, catch so much of his magic. So now we have a, a wonderful congregation of devotees that took all this nectar in their life. Thank you, Prabhu. Um, actually, Gurudev said something about, um, I'm paraphrasing here, but he loved, he, he felt that a day wasn't complete unless he at least laughed and cried once every day. Yeah. So, um, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. If you have anyone else in, um, if you can help Navalatika to um, bring more and more uh, rose petal of Bolivian devotees to us for this program, we'd be very grateful. Um, We'll now uh, move over to, um, uh, where is our last uh, speaker? I thought it's Premavati, and she's going to do a poem. But uh, Premavati, you're in Florida. Are you in Florida too? No, actually, I'm, I'm in Bolivia. I used oh, to you're in Bolivia. Bolivia. So I got that wrong. Sorry. I had you down as calling from Florida for some reason. I knew you were from Bolivia. For some reason, I thought you were living in Florida. I got that wrong. So you were coming in from Bolivia and Primavati is coming in from Florida. And I believe, did he, uh, first I want to thank Manini Radha from California, who is a, who is a mountain of enthusiasm and sweetness. Always, uh, whenever she sends me a message or talks to me, I, I feel this effusive, beautiful quality. And she's a, she reached out to uh, Shumati Primavati, did he, 
uh, who I believe is going to share for her Pushpanjali a poem. And um, she came to Prabhupada in uh, 1973, I believe, uh, when you were 17 years old and you joined the Chicago Temple in 1979 when you were 23. So a very, very experienced and senior um, devotee. Um, and although you took Harinam and Diksha within ISKCON, you then took Diksha from Gurudev in 2001. I, I often say this and I want to repeat it because um, Gurudev really impressed this in my heart and I've sort of made it into a bit of a metaphor. We're, we are the Trustafarians in the sense that, you know, Trustafarian is the inheritor of the wealth. And it was you, it was your generation that created the wealth that Srila Prabhupada came to the West to give through the work and the savor, the indefati indefatigable savor that you did, that without you, then I and many other devotees today would not have had any chance of receiving this uh, relishable treasure. So uh, I feel indebted to you. I know Yushadari feels the same and many other devotees are indebted to you and many of your peers for your incredible savor to such that we have even the opportunity to serve today. So with a very warm welcome, uh, Shrimati uh, Premavati Didi, please offer us your Pushpanjali. Haribo, welcome. Haribo, can you hear me? Very well, very okay. well. Okay. Um, first of all, I just wanna say that even though I was around Prabhupada's disciples for a little bit, I didn't really stay around. And so more like in 1979, after he had already um, entered into his unmanifest Leela, did, did I really join and, um, but still I was um, lucky enough to get a lot of the residual that was still around, even though um, Prabhupada was not present and there weren't that many people taking advantage of the other um, Mahabhagavats in India. So we, everything, everyone was just kind of like savoring Srila Prabhupada and um, it was still pretty strong. Um, but um, first, I would like to just say some prayers and I want to show you my deities after that. And then I'll say what is not really a poem, but just my offering. And maybe it's prose, I don't know, but it's definitely not a rhyming poem. Um, Gamma <laughs> Anshapa <laughs> Tavivas me, Tavivas me, Nativa me, Taya, Vina, Iti, Dana, Devi, Tom, Nayanan, Chadanan, Tita. Um, I think I'll show my deities now because they're unique. <laughs> they are our deities, I should say. And my husband was good enough to acquire them out of storage. And Sri Laguru they worship them. They're Radha Vindava Natabar. And they are in a dancing pose. And I'm trying, can you see that? Is that good? They're kind of unique. And so I'm just kind of showing just, um, them go off. Back. Uh, did he go back slightly and hold the camera steady? That's perfect. And steady the camera. All right. Yeah. So, wow. Wow. Yeah. wow. 
they're kind of tall. They're not like um, death, death deities or dresser deities, which would certainly start it out with small ones, but they're pretty big, not quite life size. Anyway, um, I also want to say Hare Krishna to Rangapuri Prabhu because he um, was in Washington, D.C., where we first were when we acquired them. And um, he um, worshiped them also with us. He was visiting our Sangha because he was doing work in Washington, D.C., very important work, as I understand it. And I had no idea of all, all what he was involved in. And we were sad when he was no longer with us and moved back to his country. But then we moved, we moved to Florida. So um, first of all, I wanna offer my most humble obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my Diksha Guru, Nitya Pravicha Om Vishnu Pada Sotara Sata Sri Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Narayana Goswami Maharaj. And the same humble obeisances I'd like to offer in the dust of the lotus feet of Nityalila Bhavishnu Vishnu Bhada Sattara Sata Shishimad Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Our Srila Prabhupada whose glorious mission to preach in the Western countries found me languishing in America and whose manifestation of ISKCON gave me access to the Bhakti Bhakti Marg, a path that taught me how to bow down and offer pranam to the powerful generals in our Guru Varga, a path that teaches appreciation and grants access to worship Srimati Tulsi Devi, and thus allowing me to acquire enough Sukritis in this lifetime for my Mahabhagavat Guru Maharaj to come and rescue me. Dear Srila Gurudev, all glories to you on the auspicious occasion of your Vyasa Puja. What you often told is so true that we will never be able to repay our Guru or our Guru Varga for that matter, for pointing us in the, to this, Raganuga Pravritti, which leads us to the ultimate sublime benefit of the Jiva's perfection. And yet try to repay, we must. Who are you? You are Sad Guru, and you so mercifully relinquish your own time and effort to write books elucidating with moonbeams that eliminate that illuminate the path of spontaneous devotion. Spending countless hours, days, months, and years writing and translating for fallen jivas like me. Who are you? You are the harmonist whose divine knowledge and insight helps us to discover the Pramaya so that we can understand, reconcile, and see our gurus as one in Siddhanta and one in heart. Many of us who never even saw a need to go beyond liberation are now given the opportunity to take advantage of the essence of all advice. You painstakingly travel the globe, appearing at festival after festival. You spent endless long hours and held thousands of darshans, organized and inspired a plethora of parikrams and programs, all in order to instill in us the true jiva dharma. And through the gifts you gave us with your blood, sweat, and tears, we knew we were walking with a saint. You are teaching us to appreciate why going beyond Baikuntha is necessary because, because of your divine encouragement, we endeavor to take seriously the quest for discerning the true sentiments of the soul. In that supreme realm is where we'll find pure bhakti, pure bhakti. As for me, 
one day in some lifetime, not caring about how far away the Pryogen sings, I'll possess Nishta and I'll realize that walking with the saint all the way to Goloka Vrindavan is the only thing I want to do. This journey of the soul is not only to meet the butter thief, who is the enchanter of Cupid. More so, you are leading us to the ultimate pinnacle of devotion, where we can learn the way of love and relish the astonishing taste of bhakti ras that we'll receive from your everything, your Swamini, Vrishubhanu Nandini, Srimati Radhika, who controls Krishna, the Lord of Sweetness. Alas, Sri Gurudev, during this special event, while we celebrate the 100th anniversary of your divine appearance, I humbly petition you, for I'm desiring that which is rarely achieved. I'm begging you to keep me in your merciful glance, birth after birth, so that the glorious reality of pure, unadulterated bhakti will not just remain a distant dream for me. I have no qualification unless you give me qualification and you are my only hope. Vaishnavas are running behind you weeping and I'm crawling behind them begging to develop real sincerity and to obtain actual greed for Radha Dasyam. So I think the reason that Manini Radi, Manini Radi called it a poem is because I don't, I don't know why she did, but anyway, what I tried to do was encapsulate the titles of some of Guru Dave's books in order to um, outline some of the concepts that I've been learning um, from my older God brothers and sisters um, and the stalwarts, stalwarts who are um, in my um, in my circle of 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 family and friends and Vaish of Vaishnavas in New York with Bumi Padi and um, who's do who's doing the um, conference call, we can learn a lot. And then Mukunda comes on, this um, Sham Prabhu, Tarun Krishna, Sahadev Prabhu. Um, Usha Didi, there's so many people who come and know so much and contribute. And then actually I met Srila Gurudev in 2001 because I had an acquaintance uh, from 20 years previous and he wanted to invite me to see Srila Gurudev at a festival that he and um, Mukunda and others were putting on in Washington in Virginia, which was um, the Washington DC area. So it was at Prince William. So I spoke with this Prabhu over the phone for months and he sent me literature from Sri Gurudev and, and he sent me articles that he printed out. And this is all back in 2001. Um, and he expressed his attraction to me and we had when we were first acquainted, we had a slight attraction for each other, but it didn't develop and we went our separate ways. And um, so now we were, he was inviting me to come and um, I met Srila Gurudev and I asked him, I asked this friend, Sanatana Prabhu, Sanatana Goswami Das, if I could take initiation. And um, he told me, don't worry about it, I'll arrange it. And then um, I had already been initiated, I thought, you know, so-called initiated by someone who, the mantras didn't come from a Rasi Bhakta. So it was my understanding that I needed to become initiated in the real sense. And um, Puru Das was there and he, 
I was expressing to him that I was afraid I was being wrong. I was being offensive by not asking permission first to take initiation. And he asked who my guru was and I told him and he said, oh, psh. And, and so whatever he said after that, I don't know. It was just that, oh, psh. like, please don't even consider it. Take initiation, you're not being offensive. And I did. And um, because Sanatana Prabhu had introduced me to Sri Guru Dave and arranged for me to get there and everything, I figured mm, maybe I should stick around. Maybe, maybe he would be a good candidate. Maybe he's the one, maybe I'll marry him. And so I did. And then I became part of this wonderful Sangha on the East Coast, um, basically, where um, I met many, many uh, Prabhus and Didis who have become my friends and my um, my teachers. So I'm very grateful for that. I'm very grateful for the Zoom, par, um, the Zoom parikram, the Zoom uh, glorification of Srila Guru Dave for three days straight, and um, the, all the other Zoom things that started developing as a result of what you all are doing. So I'm very grateful to be um, able to take part and hear everyone's wonderful glorification and everyone's wonderful realizations. Thank you. Thank you so much, Primavati. Sometimes I feel like um, um, as one of the, the MCs, after someone has spoken, offered their pushpanjali, it's like I'm holding a very delicate flower and I have to transport it very delicately because they have shared their hearts so beautifully. And um, uh, sometimes it's a struggle to do it honor because my heart is not as soft as the speaker. Um, I felt so much soft intensity from you, just like my Srila Gurudev was softly intense. And I loved what you said, how you called him the harmonist and how he taught us that everything from Parampara is one in Siddhanta and one in heart and yet expressed in different ways. Um, and I really, really appreciate your Pushpanjali. And actually uh, Manini Didi called it, it was, I called it a poem. She actually said prose poem. Oh, so yeah. that actually was just to do her credit. She, she actually represented very accurately and um, Yes, I mean, it's, um, it's very beautiful. Uh, it, poems don't have to rhyme, um, but um, it was very uh, heartfelt. And uh, I feel really honored to have heard your offering. And it, the, the beautiful thing about all these offerings and your Pushpanjali definitely um, was, had this quality is that it brings us, by sharing our experiences with Srila Gurudev, um, we're helping keeping each other connected all the time. To him because in the same way he taught us that uh parampara uh all that siddhanta is one in is all one and one in heart in the same way as all our experiences are subjective of shri gurudev yet at the same time they're all one in heart and um that's how we keep close that's one of the ways we keep close to shri gurudev so thank you so much uh, uh, yashadari would you like to add anything um before we close out what to speak uh, after such <laughs> wonderful words. I just love the fact that you embedded the whole of Srila Gurudev's books within uh, your your speech. It's just, it, it actually just represents Srila Gurudev so well because he is the books and he, what you spoke, uh, like he is the harmony, he is our harmony. He's, 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 he's given us everything. And um, yeah, I'm just really grateful. And I'm really grateful to all the speakers that have spoken today and every every week that we're getting speakers to speak because I feel like I'm getting connected to my family and I'm getting to know Shila Gurudev more. And um, I'm just really fortunate that my, I can say proudly that my God brothers and sisters are so nice and so loving that I'm able to even know my Srila Gurudev. Like this is the mercy of my good brothers and sisters that they're so 
happy to just share their their experiences which are so precious to them uh but yet they're so happy to share them so that someone like me can get closer to Srila Gurudev. So I'm really, really, really grateful. Uh, I'm feeling really, really fortunate. And um, if there are any God brothers or sisters, family members out there that um, want to come and share or should come and share, or you know someone that could share some beautiful memories of Srila Gurudev, please, um, please get in touch with Myself, you showed the Nanda Prabhu Sham Sundari Didi, Navalatika Didi, Manini Radha Didi, and Hari Priya Didi, because that's the team that's working on this. And Chandramukhi. And Chandramukhi Didi from Australia. So please just get in contact with us so that we can reach out to more. And we're really excited. I hope you showed the Nanda Prabhu doesn't mind me saying, but in uh, Guru Purnima is coming up in. Um, towards the end of July. And we are organizing another massive event um, where we're gonna be not only glorifying our Srila Gurudev, but the whole entire Guru Parampara, including Srila Bhakti Rakshak Shridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Vaipa Puri Goswami Maharaj, just to name a few of our acharyas. And there's so many God brothers and God sisters and God family out there. So we're reaching out in advance now so that if there are um, devotees that can come and glorify their Guru Maharaj, that they would get in contact with me and Yashoda Nanda Prabhu so that they can, um, so that we can schedule you in and it will, it will be like the 59 hour global glorification, but this will be another level because we're going out to the Ajaryas um, and to, to understand the glories of all the acharyas so uh please do get in contact with ourselves and i'm really really excited for that um program so we're going, we're going for 64 hours but i i have a feeling we, we, it might end up being 108 because they're yeah. going to be so many speakers yeah so we've got think, quite a few already haven't we so yeah 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 and people love it it's very inspiring because it's you know it's like let's be it's going back to what did he said one sedanta and one in heart you know we this is what we need to emphasize so a big thank you to our beautiful speakers today i'm going to uh i'm going to give a virtual flower garland around the neck of brown gopal in holland another virtual uh flower garland for sanjay prabhu we're now really greedy to hear more from him because we got cut short there. And another flower garland for Madhuvra. Thank you so much, Prabhu. Uh, from Sriman uh, 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 Ranga, um, Rangapuri in Bolivia. I got that wrong, not Florida. And finally, uh, that beautiful evocative prose poem from Srimati Premavati Didi. Uh, another flower garland for you, Prabhu, and for you, Didi. Thank you so much. Um, we are closing out with some kirtan from from Prango Pao, right? Yes, should I? Yeah, so Frank, Frank Prabhuji, are you there? Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you, Prabhu. Frank Prabhu can't hear you. Actually, we can't see you yet either. Even though you're. Looks like you're doing the kit on this, should I? Yeah, I don't want to be deafening people's ears. <laughs> I'm sure Brian probably is there because I can see him trying to. Um... Yeah, I think he's there too. Oh, whilst the boaties are waiting, we've got um, our weekly schedule for Bhakti Zoom 17 programs that are coming out. So they will get released every Sunday for the week coming up. So all of the programs that we do have during the week, um, you will have access to all the links in one go. Obviously you'll get sent reminders as well, but this will give you all of the links in one go. One go. Um, so uh, just to just so that you know that. Um, and Bran Prabhu has just said that his uh, Zoom has just got frozen. Oh. Sorry. Is there anyone else who would like to um, give um, some kirtan? I think Taruni's there, isn't she? She is. <clears throat> she is, but maybe someone else would like to sing. 
No. <laughs> Looks like. <laughs> No need to be modest, Tyranny. Go for it. We love your kirtan. Okay. Oh, just a wait. little one. Oh, I was going to say, Pam just said gonna try, he's just trying to get back on. Maybe what we'll do is we do both. Come on up, Tyranny, you start. Yeah, we wait. No, 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 Tyranny, you start, and then we'll ask Brian after. No problem. Okay. Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Adaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shiadwaita Gadatha Shiva Sadi Gauda Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichananda Shiadwaita Gadatha Shiva Sadi Gauda Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichananda Shri Adwaita Gadadha Shiva Sadi Gauda Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, Ramo Ramo, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ramo. Hare Ramo, Ramo Ramo, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, Ramo Ramo, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, Ramo Ramo, Hare Hare, Jaya Guru Deva, Jaya Guru Deva, Jaya. Guru Deva Jaya, 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 Prabhu Pada 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 Jaya. Prabhu Pada Jaya, Prabhu Pada Jaya, Rupa Nuga Guru Parampara Jaya, Rupa Nuga Guru Parampara, Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Nitai Gaura, Hari Bo, Nitai Gaura, Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Gaura, Hari Bo. Jai Shri Gaura Premanande, Hari Hari Bo. Jai, beautiful Didi, thank you so much. That was really beautiful. And I think, oh, and perfect timing because we have Pram Gopal back. Hari Bo. Hari Bo. Hari 
Yeah, my apologies. My Zoom just got frozen the moment I wanted to uh, start the video and everything. So, any particular budget? Whatever inspires you, Prabhu. Okay. Yeah, well, I know that Shila Gurudev, he would always, uh, when he was in Mathura, he always liked it when uh, the photos would sing Hindi or Braj Kirtan. So I think I'll sing, uh, it's also in the songbook, Anupam Madhuri Jori. Shall I start? Yes, okay. Anupam Madhuri Jori Hamare Shama Shama Ki Rasili Rasabhari Akhiya Hamare Shama Shama Ki Anupama Madhuri Jori Hamare Shama Shama Ki Chavili Hai Adaba Ki Sughar Surat Madhur Batiya Chavili Hai Adaba Ki Sughar रत मधुर बतिया लतक गर दन की मन बसिया हमारे शाम शाम की अनुपम माधुरी जोरी हमारे शाम शाम की मुकुट और चंद्रिका माथे अधर पर पान की लाली अहो के सी भली छवि है हमारे शाम शाम की अनुपम माधुरी जोरी हमारे शाम शाम की परस पर मिलके जब बिहरे श्री ब्रिंदा बन की कुंजन में नहीं बर नत बने सुभा हमारे शाम शाम की अनुपम माधुरी जोरी हमारे शाम शाम की नहीं कुछ लाल साधन की नहीं निर्वाण की इच्छा सखीशा माँ को दे दर्शन दया हो शाम शाम की अनुपम माधुरी जोरी हमारे शाम शाम की जय राधे जय कृष्णा जय राधे जय कृष्णा जय वृंदावन धाम जय वृंदावन धाम वृंदावन धाम जय वृंदावन धाम गौर प्रमानंदे हरि हरि गौर